too much Ow. sauce. Lust. I love, love, love that song. I heard a TikToker earlier today, Coach Renee, uh, playing that song, and I was like, oh, I gotta add that one to my favorites. Too much sauce. How y'all feeling today? Oh, we got this at 500. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We still at 155 over here. Y'all tap the screen. Tap the screen. That's right. That's right. We have 170 over here. We waiting on the Goddess Just Be Healthy page to catch up and we'll get sorted. But those of you who are new here, I got too much sauce. Yes, you do candy. Oh, and then you got candy on top of it. Oh, I know it's delicious over there. And so for those of you who are new here, I am Goddess Just Be and I help people mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally on this here channel, Goddess Just Be Healthy. I help people lose weight. I help people eat for their blood type. I help people avoid sickness and disease in the physical. On this page over here, I help people. God is just be help. Um, God is just be. I help people over there with mindset, because all things are mental. I help people over there with their chakra pools of energy, right? Their spirituality. So whichever page you on, I'm live on both of my pages. And I'm just here to help people because I got too much sauce and I got to give some of it, you know, at least I'll just be overflowing. So I'm going to give you my overflow. You can't take from my cup, though. I'm going to give you my overflow today. And what I want you to do with my overflow is let your cup run over. And then I want you to help somebody else because that's what that's that's why I do this to create a domino effect because we are a collective consciousness. Anybody out there got too much sauce? We have 446. We almost there. We almost there. We're at 461. Anybody out there have too much sauce? <laughs> too much sauce. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, because it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. So energetically, the reason why, one of the reasons why I actually all to tap the screen in the beginning is because I want you to be in a state of constant flow. Stop creating resistance in your life by trying to hold on to your energy, trying to take, 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 always, but never giving. You got to allow for that harmonious flow. And I call it offering time. Hey, Barbara, thank you for being here. Hey there, I'm grateful. Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate you. I really do. So I like for you to stay in flow and when be, staying in flow energetically also has to do with your diet, your brain. I'm talking about this brain right here. This brain right here wants to see. It wants to be able to eliminate and absorb. And then when it's not eliminating and absorbing, then you're not going to be able to see with these eyes. When this brain right here that's connected to this brain up here. It's clogged up. Well, this brain up here gonna be clogged up too. When this brain right here has parasites and pathogens and in the microbiome diversity is out of balance, oh, you gonna be out of balance see, right here too. That's why you're not gonna be able to read a paragraph and understand it. As within, so without on earth as it is in heaven. You get what I'm saying? As above, so below. It don't matter where you, what walk of life you're coming from. You know what I'm talking about here because all things are energy, frequency, and by vibration, and all things are connected. Your brain here is connected to here. So if you have the all time Alzheimer's, the dementia, your brain here is connected to here. So it's telling you what's going on up in here. You have gout way down there you inflamed down there your lymphatic system down there well you have a brain here that has lymphatic system drainage behind it so your lymphatic system down there up here over here back there is going to feel what's going on with this brain right here okay we getting that your brain here if it gets clogged up you're going to experience it even with your skin rosacea psoriasis eczema is telling you about your brain right here you gotta know this so for those of you who are on this platform with that with that body positivity thing uh, uh, come on now let's tell the truth in 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 in, in shame the so-called lower frequencies let's tell the truth 
because your brain here is clogged up. You can't sit there and talk about body positivity when you're causing this brain to be clogged up. So we, in order to unclog this brain, we got to eat for the blood type, specifically for blood type, because it's clogged up based upon the chemical reactions that was being made with the foods that you ate based upon your blood type. So your blood and the food creates this chemical reaction called lectins in the body. Lectins cause inflammation in this brain because you know, the, 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 the digestive, it digests, it goes sit up in here in your brain right here, starts to say, okay, what is this here thing? Oh, it's foreign to us. It's foreign. We don't understand it. It's not working for us. Oh, it's destroying us. It's creating an ulcer in us. It's creating lupus in us. It's getting rid of all of our beneficial bacteria. Oh, I have memory. I remember this thing. This is what your brain here is doing when you eat based upon your blood type. So this is why it's so important to eat the things that are beneficial for your blood type because your blood is interacting with that thing. So then when you eat things that are beneficial for your blood type, your brain here has memory and the blood in your body has memory and your brain here and the blood that's flowing throughout your entire body is like, yay, we're gonna thrive now. We finally got the things that we remember because your brain here has memory just like your brain here has memory, as within, so without, on earth, as it is in heaven, as above, so below. I hope you all are getting this. I try to break it down as best as I can. So now, with the, now that we know that we don't just have one brain, this is why we have gut feelings. This is why we get butterflies and nervous energy when we see people with this here brain up here, with this here inf infinite intelligence up here, but then we'll feel something up down here because there's a brain here that's connected to this here okay so so now that we know that it's important to eat for your blood type in my um on my website the link is in my bio i have weight loss instant weight loss sheet codes based upon your blood type though you ain't just you, you know you ain't just we ain't just making stuff up it's based on your blood type i have a seven day meal plan with all of beneficial foods for you to eat based upon your blood type. The food to avoid based upon your blood type. You got to be specific with that thing. The foods that are highly beneficial in each category. I'm talking about your meats, your seafoods. I'm talking about your oils, your nuts, your seeds, your vegetables, your fruits, your beverages, your teas. I'm talking about your salts, your sea vegetables. Okay. Based upon your blood type though. Based upon your blood type. So that's available. If you click on the link in my bio, the website is solvetheearthpub.org. I want to get this out of the way first. That's available. That is so important. It is so important that you eat for your blood type in this matrix until you evolve mentally. Because like I teach on this here page, the mental can trump this. But when you in the matrix and you still at low frequency and sick and experiencing this ease, first, you got to get your mind right first. You got to get your brain right first in order for you to understand. Both of them got to be in alignment first for you to understand and grow consciously and become one with each other consciously first. And then nothing shall by no means harm you. Right? So those are the things that are available. Next thing, if you do not know your blood type, this is part of the journey that you got to go on first, getting to know thyself. You go to Amazon and you order an Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit. Very inexpensive. Deliver to your house. And guess what? You prick your ring finger. You put the blood on the little card that comes inside of this packet. Mix it with a little drop of water. They give you the little dropper so you can put a little dropper of water and you're just circling that thing. You're just circling it up around. The plasma in your blood is gonna form an image. You look at the test results, and if, for example, your test results show that you have four copper uh, pennies, like at the very top, that means you're O, the original blood type. So now that means you gotta eat for your blood type. You gotta eat like an O, right? And that's who we're gonna be talking about today, the O's. 
I'm a, oh, the hunter and gatherer. She already know. Somebody just, congratulations. Somebody just went ahead and, and decided, well, that makes a whole lot of sense. I'm going to eat for my blood type. Congratulations to you on your journey of health and wellness. I feel so happy for you and your growth. Knowing your reason why. <laughs> Having a reason why. Being tired of being on this side of the law of polarity and just evolving to want to do another side because we govern underneath the law of polarity here in the physical reality where all things are two-sided. They're going to have to have some sick people and they're going to have some, well, healthy people. But it comes a moment where you just change your mind, change your frequency to go on the other side. So congratulations to you. So we got all that out of the way. We know that we should be eating for our blood type. We know why. Why? Because we want to avoid these sicknesses and diseases. We want to be able to have our energy, our mental clarity, you know, our pretty skin, our pretty hair. You know, we want to save that money and put that money or, or that energy into something else so we could evolve off this level of sickness until another level of wellness. Okay? I'm happy to join Love the Knowledge. Oh, thank you for being here, user 1579. And geez, look, just ordered my kit. That was you, Coco? I'm happy for you, Coco. Bless your heart. So today we're talking about the O's. I got all of that out the way. And I want to share some, um, just some detailed information here about blood, the different blood types and you know and, and, and kind of like the reason why we're doing this here because I, I i'm one of those type of people inquisitive where i want to know well, why well, why well, why that's how i became conscious because i just kept on asking myself a question why and i went down that rabbit hole and now i know all of this information is so i just get up on here and i just just talk whether the people come up in the live or not i just get to talking because I just got a lot that that overflow, okay. I'm O and E for my blood type. I can confess to what you say because I've seen magnificent magnificent results. Thank you for sharing that, Karen. I appreciate you, y'all. Y'all see, Karen, Karen on God is just be um page has results. She's doing the work. It's your turn. Okay, so here we are. We're talking about um we're talking about different blood types. Today, we're going to start off with the O's. This is an example, y'all, before too, of how it looks. I'm going to back it up. How it looks, the meal plan. This is Sunday through um, Wednesday on the meal plan, the first page of it. The second page of it is going to be, you know, the rest of the week. And on here, this is listed as breakfast, the, um, the nuts and seeds and fruits, the lunch, the... Um, herbal teas and a dinner idea or meal plan for each blood type then the third page is kind of like a list of do not do this do not do this avoid this remember to avoid this and you also get your herbal potion it's like um herbs and oils that are highly beneficial for you that you can mix together you mix them things together and consume that and that'll help you with that clogged up liver gold um stones kidneys that's um bothering you that needs to be filtered and and um your large and small intestines getting rid of old fecal matter and stuff this is something that you a concoction that you put it together i call it a potion because a potion is designed to give life and take it away so we're taking away the life of the parasites that's been gnawing at you that um that it changing the the diversity to something more positive we're healing that um microbiome and creating digestive enzymes up in here so that every other part of your body can thrive based upon your herbal potion. And so the final page is just all of the foods and fruits and everything in the category list. Like I categorized it so that way you can go to the grocery store and you don't have to be looking at the meal plan. You can look at the actual list itself if you know when you're over there by the fruit. You look like, okay, well, what fruit are highly beneficial for me? And you just buy them things and they make it easier for you so that's how it looks now back to this here we on the old we already talked and discussed the how um what lectins are if you're just getting here lectins is like a chemical reaction that's created between your blood and the food that you consume right so we're going to be talking about the old um, blood type today and the old blood type um it's like the hunter and gather, gather, someone just posted on in the comments on God is just be paid. 
And the interesting thing about them, they are the original bloodlines in the physical reality. And this is why. And so, <laughs> they're like the gods, like, right? And so if you think about it in that um, way, you're thinking about the people, maybe that's um, the indigenous people, like from Africa, like, right? The original people, the, um, the giants per se, like, right? full of physical strength, you know, if we're going to give them like a description, right? We're not giving them the color, right? We're giving them, well, we already know the color, but we're giving them physical strength in, 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 um, we, we're thinking about the things that at that moment in time in space that they had readily available for them to eat. And so being a hunter gatherer, if you think what was available to eat, it would have been vegetables and the animals that were present at that time so this is why so it was, i'm telling you this because if you think about bread and you think about um you think about um the pork you think about the chicken that wasn't there because it's, a, it's not real right you think about these particular things that wasn't there man hadn't manipulated right right i mean just yet you think about like high fructose corn syrup and things like that and those are some those other things that's on the list for the O's not to fool with. It's on the list for them not to fool with because that ain't gonna be no thing that their blood is gonna remember as being naturally organic when the original gods came forth in the physical reality, right? So Keep that in mind as we go over this here, um, this here food list. Keep that in mind. Okay. 10 hours. One second. I just thought about something that I had to do. I just had, um, morning. I'm sorry. Morning. I'm coming. Okay. All right, here we go. So, so simply put, when you eat foods that contain protein lectins that are not compat compatible with your blood type, then you get inflammation. So for those people that are experienced, if they're O, for example, or any blood type really, if they're experiencing irritable bowel syndrome, that's what's happening in their body when they eat it. They, that, 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 that chemical reaction is happening with their food and the lectins is, are inside of their body attacking their digestive system at that moment when you have irritable bowel syndromes, when you have bloating right after you eat, right? When you have joint pain or any types of aches or st stiffness in your body. When 30 to 60 minutes after um, eating, you you get you get inflamed you get a rash or something um if you've ever been told that you have this fibromyalgia or you have um suffered with hay fever or seasonal allergies per se i just had something spicy and my sign my i don't want to say signs my nose is running from spicy food so i was i'm sniffing over here myself right now though do you experience cloudy thinking 30 to 60 minutes after you eat meals. Do you suffer with acne? We were just talking about that acne, rosacea, eczema. If you suffer with low, this is really, really something that the old suffer with the thyroid function, right? Because of that high hydrochloric acid that they have. If you're experiencing fatigue, if you um experiencing weight gain, you know, even after you reduce the calorie count thing, you know how people be counting calories all day long? And still not losing weight yeah that's because of the lectins that's because they're still consuming the foods that's causing inflammation do you have any type of allergic symptoms after you eat that's what the lectins do that's what happens you you get attacked it's like your body that I mean the food is like t attacking you it's like we're constantly eating these things and killing ourselves with the fork unbeknownst to us because the food have a coating everything in this physical reality has a coating everything is energy frequency and vibration right do you experience allergic symptoms after you eat 
Do you experience congestion or a nozzle um, stiffness, persistent throat clearing, or post-nasal drip after meals? Does your red blood cell count or white blood cell count run low or abnormal? Do you have autoimmune disorders? Women, if, do you experience painful periods in um, hot flashes? Men, are you experiencing erectile dysfunction? <laughs> or in large prostates because all of these things are happening based upon this excess mucus, this excess inflammation, these foods that we're putting in our body. Children, children that's been diagnosed with learning disabilities. And, in, and I think about, I know a lot of children with learning disabilities and their parents just be trying to kind of like, you know, and I get it trying to like appease them and give them you know certain things because they'll catch a temple tantrum if not and that has to be a a hard thing to do but most often than not those women that i consult with that do that and just give that child whatever it be the it be like hot dogs oh all he does all day long is eat wieners all he would eat is a wiener <laughs> that's all he want to eat one one moment y'all i'm coming that's all you want is a wiener. <laughs> all right, I'm coming. I'm back. I'm back. That's all he wanted was a wiener. He um, he just loved wieners, a hot dog, you know, a wiener that that just have all kind of different parts of animals inside of a link and. The most toxic of them all you know the, the the pieces that wasn't good to make anything else with the little straps but they give them to them children to appease them to shut them up because that's all that they like and i feel and, the, and then those are the parents that oh i gotta go make sure he gets his shots because i can't dare you know they'd be so i think they'd be driven underneath fear I couldn't dare have him you know get you know catch the measles or this and that and the other and they're still getting injected with more toxins and they're already toxic is the point here so if you suffer with those things it's basically because of what you're eating your lifestyle what you're putting inside of your body and because you know the devil you know you being tied or, or tested by God and all of this other crazy stuff some people believe in it's not it's, we, we literally kill ourselves with the fork when we don't know what our blood type is and what our blood type desires. So the blood type O, the original people, the hunter, the gatherer, the ones with physical strength and endurance, they thrive on intense physical exercise and animal protein. And you'll find in the physical reality that some of them are trying to become a vegan. And I know them <laughs> that become vegan. I know some of them, and they'll do it for a year or two, and then be like, nah, I, I can't do that. I had to go back. I just couldn't. And, and it is something, however, their body is really speaking to them. Their body is really telling them, or we probably show them within them two years, that, hey, you're missing something. And then they'll say, I needed my meat. But they don't understand why. This is why. Because blood type O's thrive on the meat. They're the hunter, they're the gatherer, and it's based upon the memory of the ancient times. So the meats that were there at that time, not those genetically modified ones. Blood type O does not find dairy products or grain quite as friendly as most other blood types because its digestive system still have not adapted to them fully. Well, why is that? Just like I was saying. You didn't have to, back in the day, chase down no bread. Just think about the hunter-gatherer is wanting to gather and hunt for things. Bread is not something that you got to chase down <laughs> to gather at that time. Nor was a glass of milk. It's not nothing that you just have to run behind it to consume, right? So here we go, here we go into their meats. Eating lean, chemical, pesticide-free meats is really valuable for the hunter-gatherer. It's, it's according to his memory of his blood, it's what's going to make him feel good. It's what's going to increase his dopamine effect, his serotonin, or hers. Thank you. 
congratulations to you whoever is um on a journey thank you for putting you first babe because when you move i move when you move it creates a domino effect for other people to move that's why i'm thankful so whenever the hunter gatherer chooses a meat of its kind like a beef for example it needs to be organic it needs to be grass fed it me needs to be the best of the meat for the hunter and gatherer right because that's his primary source of protein is meat So type O can effectively digest this meat. Why is this so primary to him? Because if you think about his or her digestive system, they have the most powerful form of hydrochloric acid than any other blood type. So he can break down his beef. He can break that down. A uh, A can't. A uh, A is on the opposite end and cannot digest meat. Matter of fact, A's have no highly beneficial meats based upon their blood type because they are opposite of O's. They are more of the vegetarian, vegans, O's or the meat eaters and hunters. O's love physical strength and endurance. A's like walks and apocs and yoga and mindfulness meditation. They're opposites. I want you to understand this. And in understanding this or overstanding this, I want you to think about the family members. If there be a O in the family, that's the cooker, and there be a child in the family, that's the A, that child in the family diet is going to be different. And most often, this is another thing that I've consulted with and seen over my years, most often that child is suffering. That child, I know personally, a child that had, had multiple stomach surgeries, because that parent was a O. And that parent didn't see life like the way the child as the A saw life. And that child suffered and suffered and suffered. So if you are in this live right now, think about your family. After you get your meal plan to save yourself, it'll be beneficial. Even before you get your meal plan to save yourself, you should get all four type meal plans to save everybody in that house and start cooking for blood type. Because if you're O and you're cooking meat and you understand meat to be nutrition for your body, it might, it's definitely not going to be like that for A or for AB. And so the lectins or the chemical reaction that's happening with that A and that AB that's underneath the, your roof <laughs> is destroying the lining of their digestive system. It's causing them lupus. And you are supposed to be the nurturing and caregiver of those people. You are supposed to be passing down the torch of knowledge and instruction for their life. Right your wrongs while them children still underneath your roof and learn how all of you should be eating for your blood type so that they can thrive too and teach them so they can remember that in their lifetime. Because if you leave nothing but money for your family, you really didn't leave them no thing. If you don't leave nothing for their, them evolving or for their soul and their essence, you really didn't do nothing just to let you know. Excuse me. Cause I know somebody personally a guy that courted me for years and this guy liked me and he had all of the money in the world he taught me so much about stock he taught me so much about money he built him a nice little mansion in the gated community and he never ever wanted to do these things until the tail end he called me maybe a week before he passed and told me because it was too late when he found out about him having cancer and he called me and he told me and he said what's up B and I'm like I had just moved I had not too long moved here in Arizona from where I met him that in New Orleans Louisiana and he was like what's up B I was like oh nothing how you feeling what's up going on you eating right you what, what's going on Let, you know what's going on with the house because he had asked me to help him decorate the new mansion or whatever like when I come back down there and I was like um how he was doing he told me that he had cancer 
And I was like, oh man, come on now. You, you know all that stuff about money. And why you why you never, I was trying to get you, I hope, I hope this opened up your eyes because I had been trying to get you to, to, to eat powder, man. Is this going to open up your eyes? Am I going to be now able to send you some herbs to help you? He was like, yeah, well, I got a holistic coach and I want you to work with her for me to help me with this. I was like, oh, that's good. Well, make sure your coach know about this and you make sure you know about this. And what's her name? I need to talk to her now. Da, da, da. You know what? I'm just going to send you the highly beneficial things for you. I'm putting it in the mail right now. I put it in a mail for him. I waited and a week later, I thought about him. I was like, Dang, he didn't even call and say thank you. See how much, you know, how high it works. Cause I know it worked. I called him and his girl, his one of his girlfriends, his best friends rather, answered the phone. And I, uh, and she asked me my name and I asked her hers. And I was like, oh, he talked about you. I remember he talked about you. And she was like, yeah, he, he really liked you too. And we just talked. And I was like, Tell me you're not answering the phone because he's gone. She was like, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. He died before I was able to give him the highly beneficial herbs to help to to help remove the inflammation out of his body. I'm sorry. But I said that story to let you all know that um it's so important that you don't take this like, you know, and let it go in one ear and go out of the other because you're causing this ease and disharmony you might not be feeling it today you know when we're young you know we think we're just invincible like and but as you keep on causing this inflammation this fire it can get so unbearable and so out of of, of control to it cause you to have cancer because it cause you to get so ascetic because if you think about inflammation what you really got is acids built up in your body and so where do acids build up? The acids build up in your lymphatic system, which is the backup to your blood. And a lot of people don't know how to get them acids out of the lymphatic system. You can go to the doctor all you want and get your blood work done. Your blood work can show that it's fine. But your lymphatic system, which is the back up to your blood, is where it all is housed at. So you got to be able to release that stuff via your adrenal glands opening up to release it to allow it to flow to your kidneys and be expelled through your urine to get rid of the acids information and information but you also have to be eating the right foods that when you eat the food it creates a chemical reaction that's positive that'll break down and destroy the negative lectins that are built up and pull in and patch that hole that also you know give you back your beneficial bacteria in your gut you gotta make sure you're doing this here too so pork naturally contains toxins and should be avoided by blood type O. Blood type O should avoid pork. It wasn't even there when the original blood type O walked the lands in Africa for the first time. Pork wasn't there. Pork is man-made. There's no blood type that really can digest this pork and thrive off of this pork without it affecting the digestive system and i know we love our pork hey 66 i know i take heed thank you thank you mark i know we love our pork and don't want to let our pork go with our pork chops and our chitlin pieces and our bacon in the morning but you could move over maybe to something lighter than that something that was here maybe the turkey instead Lead, let that pork go and so as it pertains to seafood for the blood type O, seafood is the second most concentrated animal protein for, for blood type O. And so it's well suited for, there's a plethora on the food list that I created. And on the meal plan, I even show you how to, you know, prepare these certain um, meats and fish by the choice herbs that you should use, the type of water that you should use, how to clean it to avoid the parasites and stuff. The things to clean it with your meat because oh you you could consume the eat the meat but i as being kind of like a vegetarian fruitarian i want you to clean that stuff right because we don't want to consume the meat and then have too many parasites in the gut that all of this would be in vain so you want to clean it you want to have um the proper foods with it 
And so your spices, your oils, your herbs matter when you're making these meats because they're designed to assist you in killing the pathogens or parasites too. So you're cleaning it and your herbs helping you, your oils helping you, and you know, your juices helping you, your vegetables, your highly beneficial vegetables, all of these are helping you with the integrity of the gut at the same time. Don't half haste it. Because, <laughs> you know, they got people that believe, oh, you just throw it in the freezer. Then when you throw it in the freezer, that's going to kill the parasites. You know, for fish, for example, you put it in the feed freezer and that's going to destroy it. But in my mind, don't work like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just different and a little or too extra. I don't know. But I, I want to soak that sucker in some oils. And some vinegar <laughs> and some lemon juice you know my alchemist oil which kills kills parasites i will put some cayenne pepper and then look back for after 30 seconds make sure that thing ain't nothing moving because the cayenne pepper hit it i will make sure then i will make sure that I, my my herbal drink is a parasite cleanser and everything everything just right that's just how i think and so it's beneficial. It is beneficial to ask for the fish or, um, that's all the way, you know, in the coldest part of the freezer. It is beneficial for that so you could destroy the parasite. But at the same time, clean your fish. Don't be nasty now. <laughs> hey, Un Unbox, thank you for being here. How do we get the meal plan? The meal plan is in on my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. That's my website address right there. Just put a dot .org. Or you can click on the link in my bio. The link in my bio will bring you to my home screen of my website. And the meal plan is going to be right there at the top. Let me see if I can go there. Let me see if I can go there right quick for you. The meal plan is going to be right there on, at the top. So if, you, if you're on my TikTok page, this is my home page. And my website is right up there. So that black bolded line, you're going to click that. Oh, that was you will click on solidarepub.org. When you do that, it's gonna send you directly to my website. And I'm waiting for it to load. I'm waiting, I got a lot of people up in the house, so everybody on the internet. This is the home screen of my website. And you ain't gotta scroll for it, cause I put it at the top. Look, right here, see these words right here? That's you. It says, eat right for your blood type, meal plan, and beneficial food list. And you just click right there. Just click on the word. Just click on the word. That's it. And you done found it. You see that? Click on the word. My, like I said, people, everybody on the, on my page. I mean, on the internet right now. And this is what it looks like. So this is the meal plan. This is the list of beneficial, highly beneficial things to choose. And the ones you should be avoiding. It looks like this here. It looks like little blood and little blood types by it. And so when you find it, you're gonna purchase based upon your blood type. See right there, blood type. You could just get your blood type or you could get all blood types. But you select or choose the one that you want. You put it in your cart. I'm gonna just put B. So I've got B blood type. That's the one I selected, the B blood type. And now I'm gonna add it to the cart. Right there, I added it to the cart. So it's in the cart. So now I'm gonna view the cart. And this is how the cart looks. I didn't view the cart. So now it's gonna ask me to proceed and put in my information. Make sure you put in the correct email address because this is downloadable. This is downloadable and so you're gonna get an instant let me wipe this here off. You're going to get an instant email. Okay. Instant email at the email address that you put in. While you're on that page, that last page, you can hit the download button if you want to download it there. But if you forget to hit that download button, you're going to get a receipt from the purchase. And on the receipt, there's a link of what you just downloaded that you could still get your access to the download. You download it, save it, and there you go. Now when you're in the grocery store, you can pull it up. You can pull up your fruit for your blood type and look at it and it's in your phone. 
easy. If you don't receive it, that's because you did not put in the right email address. Or you need to check your spam folder because maybe you never received the email and it went into your junk mail and said, but if you put the wrong email address, you need to let me know you made the order and you did it wrong and we still can fix it. But that's the steps on ordering it. Congratulations to whoever that was that knows y'all hears when somebody purchased the um, meal plan. Congratulations on whoever that was deciding to do something different in their life and take care of their health, especially for you and your family. So moving on to blood type O. If you are a blood type O, you should severely restrict your consumption of dairy products. Remember, <laughs> you're the meat eater and the hunter, right? Your, um, your system is really designed to digest meat and vegetables. Well, there's an infl inflammatory response or condition that happens and weight gain that happens when you consume too much dairy, right? Even with the wheat, for example, it leads you to depression, to, to depression and make you feel stuffed. And so if you have, you know, you're supposed to be this hunter gatherer. So you're supposed to have all this physical strength and endurance. And so when you consume like your milk and your dairy, now you're stuffed. And so you just think about this. I would just like to break it down in, in layman's terms. If you're stuffed and you're, you're, you're inflamed, and you done lost your serotonin and your dopamine effect, now you're like, wah, 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 wah. you're not acting like an O because the O's are supposed to be energetically up to par more than any other blood type because it's a hunter. Hunters hunt. They don't lay down up in the bed and just be chilling. These people are old. These are the people that's just gun hold, just striving for life. These are the people in the, I'm talking about when the integrity of their gut is up to par because they have some oats, oats that's laying on the sofa because they mess themselves up with bread um, and dairy and eating the wrong foods. But the ones who are in good condition and lean and physically strength, having strength, they get up four day in the morning and go into the gym because they want to burn this here energy off. They they throw they have a burst of energy all day, <laughs> all day. Trust me, all day. I'm around some of some of them up in this house right now, all day <laughs> and night. <laughs> we be all night. <laughs> so here's the thing though: with seafood, catfish, octopus, frog, and um squid those old should avoid them types of seafood because they'll cause instant inflammation and once again they wasn't the original things that was here provided for the olds at that time as far as um dairy is concerned type olds can eat eggs up to about eight times a week but the eggs that the olds need to consume is gonna be the dha um a eggs the dha rich eggs you know the dha in like the, for example the baby food they have the dha it helps with brain development and cognitive um thinking and in and, and their motor skills and everything like right so the organic rich dha eggs are beneficial only organic though you want them just just as long as you see on the egg cart organic don't just get the regular cheap egg if you're old you want the organic rich ones for your brain development because once again going back to brain development you have two brains you have this one here and this one here so if you if it's for dha brain development here then guess what it's going to be good for your digestive system right here keep that in mind that's a simple way to understand that on a, on a deeper level because the um dha is it says that dha is a fatty acid that is increasingly being viewed as an essential a proper nerve and immune system health is what I was just explaining to you in a different kind of way. So, oils. You respond as an O well to many, many oils. And the importance of the oils is for nutrition and it aids in elimination. And this is why the, um, the potion that I have available on my website is really, really beneficial because I teach based upon your blood type 
the proper oil for your blood type. I want to show you that. Well, I got this here in front of me. The proper oil for your blood type because it's going to aid in elimination and detoxification. Remember how I said the, the potion? It's called the, um, the po at, ho at home potion for your blood type. That's on my website. And so remember how I said it will help you with your liver and your kidneys. It's also helping with your large and small intestines. I want to show you what that looked like on my website too. So it's called the at home herbal potion. I don't have it pinned at the top of the screen. I need to do that, but here we go. This one here. It looks like this here on my website. So you get an at home herbal potion on page three if you purchase the instant um the seven day meal plan i'm sorry the seven day meal plan comes with this already all right but if you don't want to purchase the seven day meal plan then you need to purchase this here potion by itself because this potion by itself you know how they have going viral right now congratulations to whoever that was that purchased the meal plan how they have going viral right now olive oil lemon cayenne pepper let's use that one because that one going viral right well if a a was to do that or a, a b was to do that it will cause inflammation why is that because those two can't tolerate that cayenne pepper everything ain't for one person like i mean ain't for everybody right so this here at home herbal um potion is specific for blood type this is really inexpensive if you can see at the bottom you can kind of like see i can't talk about numbers i can't talk about numbers but i'll let you see that number right there if i could focus can you see why that number ain't let me focus well i tried <laughs> but, but anyway it's inexpensive when you find it on the um, website you see this picture you find it then you can look at the number yourself if you can't see it from this here glare but I included in the meal plan on page three. So don't get both if you get the meal plan. You don't need this. But if you don't want to get the meal plan, you just want to know your potion. Because I, I designed this one here for the people that's sick. For the people that's in bed, that's obese, that can't get to the grocery store anyway. That's why I put this one here separate. They can't get to the grocery store. They can't walk. You know, they bed, bedridden. Somebody, the caregiver can simply get these particular herbs blended up with their beneficial oil and then that's going to help with that liver unclog that liver you know that's going to help them this person that's bedridden or sick and have inflammation up here because keep in mind if you have remember we call this a, a, a brain right here if you have inflammation up in here let's think about that let's break this thing down thank you thank you for being here just found you and that um a video had me crying a lot <laughs> oh lol I appreciate the information queen you are so welcome you are so welcome so keep in mind if you have inflammation up in here you have inflammation let's think about it. inflammation is acid when you get inflamed just think about your gut your large and small in in, in um intestines being inflamed being on fire right what do you think gonna happen to the bowel up in there or that large and small intestines it's gonna go like this here it's gonna cringe up because it's on fire it's hurting it's hurting and so if it's hurting and you have bow up in there and and you're inflamed from cayenne pepper for example if you did that little go viral trend with the cayenne pepper and you are a or you're b now your digestive system like this or better yet we talk about the old if you consume apple cider vinegar and you already have the hydrous for, highest form of hydrochloric acids already breaking down your food and you decide that you're gonna get something that was not there readily available and made already for your blood type as the original god in the physical reality ain't no apple cider vinegar was there in those times for you when you first came forward so now your blood is interacting with that vinegar and your digestive your large and small digestive system is looking like this here and so your digestive system the large and small is crumbled up like this because it's inflamed it's inflamed it's on fire it's like ah so this is why you're constipated. I just want to give you these, these, these examples. This is how I learned. So I just teach how I learned this. 
So if your large and small intestines doing like this, just crumbled up. They're supposed to be all down here, squiggly, going all the way down to your booty, right? But it's like this instead. And you walking around, man, I go to the bathroom and da da da, because you're inflamed. Because your large and small intestines up here, because of the things you put in here, made it sore. Made it, made it full of acids. And so when you put the right foods up in there, it'll get soothed. When you put the right oil, like the potion, the at-home potion, has the right oil in it. It has the right herbs in it for your blood type, specifically for your blood type. So now your blood, as soon as you put it on your tongue, every, every, every cell, every atom, all your blood that has memory, it says, oh. That we remember and then it relaxes your large and small intestines it releases the toxins that was in the liver and that gallbladder duct that's right up in this here area right above right underneath this here little rib cage right here you feel it and when i first did this i tell you no lie it felt like little marbles if like if i had a pocket right there on my shirt i was just looking to see because it felt like little marbles internally was just falling, was just stripping out of my gallbladder duck. The release feels so good. And then the feeling that your kidneys, well, first of all, your adrenal glands will begin to feel when you eat for your blood type is that release. You know how you have that, 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 that soreness in your back, like you the bag lady that been toting all them bags like that, that soreness, that ache, that almost like your back is stuck you know them people not being ugly but them people that have them big hunks of chunks of fat right up in here on their back all of that mucus and inflammation to come draining from down there going down to the adrenal glands and when you take that potion and it'll open up the adrenal glands which leads to your kidneys in an effort to help you release all of them sediments all of the acids because the kidney is a backup for the blood the kidney filters the acids the inflammation the uric the inflammation the uric acids the lactic acids out of your body that was causing you pain and so now that's going down to the kidneys and now your urine, you're gonna see sediments inside of your urine because this stuff is coming out. And so when you urinate, it's almost like, I can't say a, a beer drinker because I don't, I never drunk beer before, but it's almost like, um, how could I could explain it? How could I, I could just say that it's like a thicker urine. It's a thicker, darker urine. I experienced this when I was on my 90 day fast, when I was on my 90 day fruit fast, how your urine gets thicker and if you look at the bottom of the toilet bowl, you know, I'm talking about where it gets narrow at, you can see after you urinate, you turn around, you will be able to see the lines almost, the, the sediments almost at the bottom because the sediments will go down to the bottom. Bottom, if you urinate right now and your urine is just clear and you don't see nothing, that's letting you know that your kidneys aren't filtering out your acids because you're supposed to have color to your urine Okay, your urine has to put, it's supposed to have color and at the bottom of that toilet, you're supposed to see some sediments and that is because your urine is being filtered by your kidneys and if they're working right and if they're not, you ain't gonna see nothing but clearness in the toilet bowl. Clear urine is, is not healthy, baby. I'm just here to tell you because every day, think about this here. I need to break this down to you like this here. You putting stuff on your skin, which is an organ, the largest organ on your body. You putting stuff in your mouth, going to your other organs, right? You putting stuff underneath your own pit, going into your lymphatic system, the, the largest group of lymph nodes right there underneath your own pit. Let's see, especially if you're a woman and you spray your little feminine products down there, you put lotion on your skin, you know, soap on your skin. You're washing your hands with, with all kinds of different things, especially like if you're at the office, you just wash your hands with what's in the bathroom. Those those soaps and products have all kind of non-friendly ingredients up in it. So you're absorbing it. Let's say, for example, you painting some of that paint and get, get on your own. Guess what? Guess what got to filter that? Your kidneys. So your kidney got a, your perm in your head? Mm -hmm. Your kidneys got to filter that. Uh -huh. Your dye in your head? You just think about these things. Your makeup on your face? 
This is you're putting this on the largest organ of your body. So you gotta filter this out somehow. So if you're going to the bathroom in your urine, congratulations to whoever that is that purchased the meal plan. Your urine clear? And you just had a perm? You wear gloves when you put your perm on your head, but you put in chemicals that's gonna relax your hair near your brain. And underneath this hair is skin. So this is not only near your one of your brains, not this brain, but near this brain here, where there's skin, and skin is the largest organ on the body. Where do you think all of this stuff going? This is why a lot of us are full of crap and don't we don't pay attention to all of this here. Yeah. Your body got to it, it absorbs, it's absorbing, but how is it eliminating? The only way it, the, it eliminates is when you give it the necessary things to help it eliminate. Okay? So this is why eating for your blood type is so important. You take certain, you drink them teas on that meal plan, you drink them fruit juices on that meal plan, instantly them digestive enzymes are going to increase. They're going to come back to life. It's going to start cleaning house up in here. Any type of pathogens or parasites that was up in here, you're going to realize that, oh, Lord Jesus, my urine is so, I mean, my bowel is so bulky. I didn't feel like I had all of that inside of me. Yes, she did. My urine is so much darker now. And look at the bottom of the toilet bowl. Wait, they got sediments up in there. It ain't clear no more. Oh, what does that mean? That means my, my kidneys are finally filtering now. I'm getting rid of these acids. I need you to know this too about, about eating right for your blood type. So I want to teach you along the way. So you don't be afraid of your so-called detoxing symptoms. Oh, my stomach is hurting a little bit. Let me drink me some water. That's what you do when your stomach hurts a little bit because guess what? Them acids, them acids, that, that old fecal matter, those chemicals that, that they ain't giving you that trash that wasn't giving you no life, it got to get up out of there. And so your new hydrochloric acid needs to be produced. That helps you break up your food in your stomach. Your new digestive enzymes need to be produced. So this is why along the journey, it might feel a little warm in the beginning, you know, the first week or so, it might feel a little warm in your gut. That warmth is your digestive enzymes. That warmth is your hydrochloric acid being replenished, especially if you've been eating bread and you've been drinking cow pus milk that was causing mucus and that was causing your hydrochloric acid to be put out and causing you to suffer. And so this is why when you eat a, eat a hot sausage sandwich or whatever, three days later, you're still belching it up because it's still right there because you didn't have the digestive enzymes, nor did you have your hydrochloric acid to break it down. It shouldn't have been smelling three days later. It shouldn't have been, it should have been in the toilet. But that lets you know the integrity of your digestive system when those type of things happen. Let's get to 10,000 likes on this here page. Let's get to at least 3,000 likes on this here page. They got 32, 55 over here. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. It's offering time. It's offering time. Y'all tap the screen. Y'all tap the screen and I'm going to drink me some water for a second and then we'll continue. Y'all tap the screen. It's offering time. I'm giving to you for your help. Give back to me. Yeah. Receive. Energy. Flow. <laughs> Can bees do nightshade vegetables and spices? I'm a bee. We we could do um we the most diverse. We no, we can't do tomatoes, that's a nightshade. But we can do spices though. We have 7.6 over here, 7.7. .7. Thank you. Thank you for giving to me. I appreciate you giving to me. Like I'm giving to you. I appreciate that. What we had over here? 2.8. We almost there over here. I appreciate you too giving given to me are there any exceptions to this hood holistic says are there any exceptions to this of course there is always an exception we're going to talk about the exceptions when we get to the um to the ten thousand over here we had 8.5 and then we'll talk about the exceptions
We're at 8.5. We're at 9. We're almost there. It's offering time. One second. It's offering time. Let's get to 10,000. 10,000. It's offering time. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, we had 10. Perfect. We came back at the perfect time. So the um, um, hood, hood uh, holistic acts, are there any exceptions to this here? Yeah, the exception is mindfulness. The exception is you get your energy, because all things are energy, frequency, and vibration, right? So you get your energy at a higher frequency above all of these things. So you at low frequency, for example. You at low frequency because you maybe you, you let's say you got cancer, right? Energy is rated like just like our pH is rated from zero to fourteen. Zero being flat line, you're not here in physical reality. Fourteen being among you, you too high. Seven point three five is the middle that represents balance for us, right? So when you're between zero and seven point three five. You're ascetic in your body. Your body is ascetic. Over here, you might have cancer. You might have, you know, life-threatening disease. I don't know, lupus or whatever. Lupus and cancer and autoimmune diseases and stuff is over here. You don't belong over here. But in order to get from over here, what you need to do, eat for your blood type, you need to go to the fruits and the vegetables and nuts and the seeds and everything that's for your blood type. Why are we doing that? Because those things increase our pH, potential of hydrogen balance in our body. To do that, if you constantly do that, you end up over here on the 7.35 to the 14. We don't want to go to 14. We want to be right there at 7.35. We want to be in balance. But you go to the fruits and the um, herbs and different things in the vegetables because they know balance. So we're manipulating energy, using them, consuming them, transforming the energy from them, the life force from them inside of us. Right? And so when we transform the energy, the life force in, from them inside of us based upon our blood type, based upon our connection to those particular things, our frequency gets better. We come from the cancerous state, the autoimmune state, the lupus state, and then we get to the balanced state of health and wellness. So when we get to the balanced state of health and wellness, yeah, we realize that mindfulness now can trump everything because now we're in balance. We use them to get our energy in balance. Now we're in balance with ourselves. Now nothing shall no, by no means harm us. So you think about this as it pertains to like a Buddhist monk, for example. A Buddhist monk will probably live off whether he a A, a B, a A, B, or O. He can live off of the sun. He can live off of white rice. Okay? That's an exception. How is that though? How is he the exception though? Because he got his mind right. He got this brain and this brain in balance. This is why I sit here and teach you how to get this brain in balance. Because I know this brain helps you with this brain. And I'm here to teach you consciousness, really. I'm not here to be talking about no food. But I come to your level to talk to you about food because I know food matters. I know this brain and this brain needs to be in alignment for you to say, Nothing shall by no means harm me. So yes, there is an exception. Mindfulness is the exception. This is why in the allegory text, the Christ conscious one say, just bless your food. Because he had already in that story transformed his body his, into the light body self. The first miracle he performed was that of transforming energy, turning water into wine, symbolic of renewing the blood. This is why oftentimes I'll sing that song, Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood, oh, the blood has signed my name because it is your blood, your dormant DNA, your life force. But you got to start here, though, when you at low frequency. I can't tell nobody that have cancer. Just go ahead and just believe you're going to be all right. 
just practice mindfulness. They don't know how. The mindfulness that they're going to practice is going to make them sicker because all they can do is think about the sick things. This is why in the biblical text, the Christ conscious one, he would go to the people and tell them, your faith has made you whole. He would tell them, <laughs> I see you healed already. He would see through his mind's eye already how he wanted it to be not how it was but sick people they don't know how to do that they see they be like no but the doctor said the doctor told me so i i, I like to give the people the in-between so if people need the in-between i'm gonna give you the coding in the matrix here's your in-between i'm gonna give you some life insurance to get you there but at the end of the day you healing you yourself because your faith is making you whole during this thing. You're believing. That's why I delete people off the page when they start saying, this thing don't work. It didn't work for me. Because what they're really saying is they didn't have the faith as a grain of a darn mustard seed to move the darn mountain. I don't need you up in here manipulating the other people who have that amount of faith. I need these people to believe in it and so shall it be for them. You see what I'm saying here? Because at the end of the day, really what it is, is, is it's going to be love. Love heals all. Like the biblical text says, it's going to be the love for self. I don't feel good today, but that lady, she sounds like she's making sense. And it's time for me to take care of myself. What is that? That's love for self. Going to the grocery store, buying the things that energetically in this matrix are coded better for you to assist you. It's love for self. Digesting that thing and feeling good when you digest that thing. You'll be like, oh, Oh, it really feels good. She might be onto something. That's love for self. That's hope. I'm building them up. I'm bringing them from low frequency of, I'm about to check out. I'm dying. Ain't nothing working out for me. I'm always sick. I'm bringing them from there to, oh, okay, my information is subsided. Oh, I like this. Oh, well, I'm optimistic. Oh, I believe this is working. Oh, oh yeah, it worked for me. Oh, I'm healed. Oh, nothing shall by no means harm me. That's what I'm doing here. If, if you didn't, you guys didn't figure it out yet, that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I came to do because you called me for in your simulated environment to do this for you, to help you remember. Because this is a game of life and you came for to experience all. You came to experience some of that no good food that wasn't good for you. You came to experience sickness, believe it or not, if you don't want to accept it. Believe it or not, because all is God. The sickness is God and the health is God. God is all the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. There's one God, one faith, one baptism. All that comes underneath here in this matrix stems up to God. So there's seasons, there's a time to be sick and there's a time to be well. There's a time to laugh and there's a time to cry. But you put them two times together and all you got is God. Experience itself in the physical reality. So we're just manipulating energy here. So yes, there's gonna be an exception. There's always gonna be somebody that say, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And so there goes the exception. And as a man think it, so is he. So that's why when people don't believe and this type of thing, even though it's coded in this matrix that it in the physical works like this here, oh yeah, little thing, get 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 deeper. I mean, I don't I don't want to I don't have time for you. <laughs> I'm only here for the people that's ready. I'm hopeful that you hear me. He who has an ear, let him hear. My website address is all of the earth pub.org. My link is in the bio. Okay? Preach. I, I, I had to catch myself. Preach. I had to catch myself because I'm trying to teach. And I, but this is my passion, y'all. I'm really, really passionate. And I'm going to tell you real quick why I'm so passionate about this. I feel so passionate about this here because in the physical reality, when I was a little girl, I came up in church. I came up in church. I was an usher. I was a pastor's assistant. I was a camera girl. I was a treasurer. I was in a choir. Church, 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 church. Why we did church? Man, let me tell you. Because my mom was in the ministry. She's still a minister. My auntie was a pastor. My uncle was a pastor. My brother, the drummer. Every, everything. Everybody was church. And Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Fix it. Oh, Jesus. 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 Fix it. I ain't got nothing against Jesus. But in my journey, I've realized that we are the conscious one. We are the Christ conscious one. Hear me out. Hear me out, church folk. Hear me out. Don't leave now. Don't leave now. Just hear me out now. 
You need to learn how to have some same, stay in power when people talking about things that you don't want to hear. I know you're in here, church folk, because you're always in here. Congratulations to you who are on your, your health journey. But as an usher, here's the thing. As a little girl in church, you know, 11, 12 years old, I, I wanted, I saw, you know, so many people that love God so much, but they hurt so bad. And I... <laughs> I wanted to better understand what, what, what's going on in the church because I wanted to be of assistance to the people. And so as the usher, the most, the most amazing thing, don't take this part of my life from me. If I would say do anything again different, don't take the part when I was an usher away from me because as an usher in the Holy Ghost healing and deliverance service, I was standing next to the apostles or the pastors or whoever came in town in the ministry. I was their assistant and the usher for the people who would catch the Holy Ghost and you know, fall up on the floor. But before they passed out, they would ask the, the um, apostle or the pastor something. They would ask them for something for prayer or whatever. And I was ear hustling y'all. And them people, they would get up there and they really only had three things that they was asking for. Three things. Relationship, money, or help. It was always about those three things. You know, because I heard people need a healing Jesus, they would say in church. And as a little girl, I sat there and I listened to them things that the people was asking the pastor to pray for them over. And I was saying to myself, because I, you know, I would hold my little, my little, the little throw on, and I would put my head down. And I would be saying, when I grow up, I don't want to be like these people. Get me out of here. I gotta do this now, but when I get older, I wanna get up out of here cause something ain't right with this church thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And then I was also the little girls that everybody knew in the church. So I would sleep over to the pastor's house into the prophet's house and the evangelist's house. It's being that I was assistant, I knew all of the business and everything and how they talked. And when they wasn't around the church members, I knew being that I was a treasure at one time, I knew what they said when the offering was low and when it was high. I remember these things like it was yesterday, right? And so with all of this knowledge and seeing all of these people, they thinking the little girl, little 12 year old girl ain't paying attention to them, but I was. And so I peep game, I'm like, dang, she eat the one that was in the in the healing and deliverance line talking about she needed god to heal her body she eat like crap because i slept over to her house and she kept going to the kitchen and she cheated on her fast she cheated on that fast at church fast but she held her hand up when she was in church she knew she didn't go to the through the 40-day phase but I was watching because I was been, always been inquisitive, always been introverted, always. Our people watch just for fun. I'm, I know it sounds strange, but just, just stuff that I do. I bird watch and stuff. That's, that's just my life. That's how I always live. And I find joy in it too because I can read energy really, really good. So I'm watching these people, the, the, the people that ate anything always needed prayer. The people that wanted relationships always had issues with relationships huh isn't that something the people that wanted the money always was the tight and stingy ones with the money this little girl i'm peeping it out and so in my mama she was really really strict my mama didn't let me have boyfriends I couldn't go outside. I had to wear the dresses even when my legs and knees was just as freezing. And she was so strict on me. So strict on me. So all I really had time to do outside of going to choir rehearsal and going back and forth to church. And then there was, you know, Saturday prayer meeting. And then there was, then there was the church service itself. And then, Lord, if it was a revival, Lord Jesus. That's all I had time to do in my life. And my mom being strict, all I had time to do was read the Bible. That's that's why I be preaching every now and then. I just go in my room and I read the Bible. And I would say in my innocence, when I grow up, I don't want to be like these people. And I'm gonna figure this Bible out because these people, these people in the church, they're hurting and they're dying and they're looking for somebody to save them. And I concluded after reading the Bible. 30 plus times because I didn't understand it. 
I didn't understand that. So I had to read it over and over and over and over again. I was only 12 years old. But I felt like I, I felt like I could figure this thing out. And in all my years of research and reading this Bible, I've concluded the greatest secret of them all, that he are gods. <laughs> and, so, and so it became a moment in my life where I was sick. I left my house when I was 17 years old. I bought me a car. I got me an apartment place to stay because I was running away from religion in the way that I had to live underneath that house, underneath that roof. <laughs> and I got my own house. And then, you know, I still believed in Jesus, you know. I still believed in Jesus, but I was getting a little weary. Like, did Jesus never come and say, Grandma? Jesus didn't crack the sky for great grandma. I was getting a little weary in my faith with that. And so I began to study. Oh, now I'm out the house. Now I want to study. I want to study and read about the Egyptian hieroglyphics. I want to read about the, the laws of my eye. I want to find out who, who is Thoth. What about the seven day of Venice? What about them dead sea strokes? And I studied. Oh, I had already been studying. I've been a nerd all my life. I've just been reading in the closet all my life. Talking to Jesus on church all my life. That's all it is. So I wanted to do something different with my life. And in church, they would always prophesy when the apostles and evangelists come. They would say, you, you're going to be a prophet amongst the nations. You're going to heal sick people and da, 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 da. And Lord, when they told me that, I was like, no, no, not me. I'm getting up out of here. I'm going to make sure that I don't do that thing. I'm going to stop talking and stop using my voice up in here. So I stopped speaking. So nobody could see my gift. But lo and behold, I get out the house and I get sick. And I get sick. I experience sickness and disease. And I said, I know I have been good. See, that's why I tell you that good stuff don't it, it, it ain't it don't it don't mean a thing. It ain't about being nice. Nice don't goddamn matter. The frequency that you are emitting is the thing that really, really matters. Do you feel worthy or not? Because if you don't feel worthy, life gonna give you more. Because the blessings of God are yea and amen and it goes according to how you feel. It's almost like you got you got this energetic being in the in the universe that's saying, What is she doing? Oh, she's happy? Give her more. What is this one doing over here? They don't feel worthy. Give them more unworthy experiences. And so I peeped, came energetically, and I moved from religion to this energy thing because all things are energy, frequency, and vibration. And so now I'm spiritual. But at that moment when I got sick, I was like, how dare I get sick? I spent all of my goddamn childhood life in the church. I was good and I was loving my goddamn enemies. And I wore them damn dresses. And I went to choir practice. And I sat on the first pew. And I was a camera girl. And I was I was a good person. How dare I get sick? How dare is my time to suffer when I cater to the ones that suffered with all of my life? I didn't go to pep rallies. I couldn't go out because my mama was really, really strict. And if anybody, this is why I love Job in the biblical text, because if anybody in the Bible reminds me of me, it will be Job. <laughs> because it tells you allegory text about Job was a, a righteous man. Had grace and favor by God. And that felt like me at one moment in my life when I was a little girl, right? But I got sick. And it really didn't sit well with me. And I was going through things mentally with my daddy. My daddy and mama split up when I was five years old. So I was also guarding my heart. So now I'm not speaking. My heart is guarded because daddy, oh, he was there for my other siblings. But when it was my turn to come forth, he was no longer there. So that bothers me with my heart. So here I am with a closed heart and a closed throat or self-expression. And now I'm sick, right? So I go to my mom, who's heavily into religion, like, right? 
And I told my mom, I said, I just need to talk to you. And could we not talk about church and all of these different things? I just want to talk to you. And I just want to share some things with you. You know, at this moment, I wasn't living in our house no more. And life was just kicking my ass, you know. And I just didn't understand why. And I just wanted to talk to her. And she says to me, before you begin. I'm sorry, I drifted off from, 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 from the book. I'm sorry. I, I, got, I got to tell you a story. Before you begin, my mama says, she says, did you talk to Jesus? And I looked at my mom. And it might not have been the nicest thing. But I had always been nice. And I told my mom, I said, you look at me, woman. Don't you dare tell me nothing about no Jesus. All I want right now is to talk to my mom. I'm going through some things and I need my mama. Don't tell me nothing about your Jesus because I have yet to figure out your Jesus and what your Jesus means to me. <laughs> my mama did it like that. My mama did it like that at all. So it was a moment in my physical reality that I wasn't talking to my mother because of that. Because then I became a backslider. Then I became maybe a witch, you know, because I was into energy. Then I became a hypocrite. I, whatever, I didn't care. But what I was doing was me being on a journey, looking for me, finding out where I fit. Mama, don't give me your religion. Don't give me your food. Don't, 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 don't teach me how to love the way you love. Let me figure this thing out for myself because I want to have my faith in knowing that these things are true for me instead of sitting there in religion believing no i want to practice like the apostle said i want to know that i know that i know that i know and these are the things that i know based upon what i've been through in my sickness journey so to wrap and sum that up what i ended up finding out is that the day I just surrendered to it all. Was the day energetically my life changed forever. I surrendered to being sick and I said, Oh death, where is thy sea? Oh grave, where is thy victory? By simply saying, okay, I'm sick. I got this thyroid issue. I got, I got, I got this heart issue. And I'm just going to die. And I just don't even give a damn. So I just kissed my children. And I just told them every night, y'all, look out for each other. Mama going to always love you. And I'm going to always live through you. Because that's how bad my thyroid issue got in my sickness. That's how bad I was inflamed to the point where I couldn't talk too long throughout a day. Here I am on lives for hours and hours and hours. Ooh, I'm testifying to somebody with thyroid issues. I couldn't talk. I couldn't lose weight. I felt so much fatigue. And I felt like any day, any moment, I was going to crash and die. I couldn't take a hot shower. Because when I would get in the shower, being that I was anemic, and then on top of that, I had low blood pressure, I would pass out. That began to scare me. But I said, hello, fear. Take me. I'm ready to die. I don't care no more. I don't care. I won't even be here no more. This is why this is my passion, y'all. And so on top of that, what I did was I called my daddy. <laughs> this is how I know love heals. Oh, I called my daddy. You know, the one that wasn't there. The one that wasn't there for me, but he was there for my other siblings. He got the divorce and then the weekend visits were no more. And I would just look out the window. We had balls on the window. I would look out the window at the, at the stop sign wondering, when is daddy going to come? Because it's Friday. And he stopped showing up. I called him one day and I said, Daddy, you know, it would have felt beautiful had you come to my graduation. It would have felt so amazing because I not only had one, but I had two of them. And I just was looking for you each time. It would have felt beautiful if you, as my real father, would have gave me away. But you know, I had a stepfather who was there. You know, life always give you what you need. It would have felt amazing had I known your favorite color and I, 
I would have wanted you to know mine too, but I want you to know that I love you simply because you are my father. <laughs> that day it felt like the barbed wire that was around my heart was released. The canines, now they, they can go too. And I opened up my heart again. And I began to talk about how I feel. This is how I, I know this to be true because I begin to talk. This is why I teach people, talk about how you feel. Talk about how you feel because I understand from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking and spiritually, I was healing my thyroid. I healed myself based upon getting to know myself because getting to know myself is getting to know God. And on the quest of getting to know myself, I did research on these herbs. I worked at the farmer's market. I did the 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 the, um, the volunteerism for farmer's market, for Whole Foods market. I met my guru at a gardening show and I did the work based upon how this food felt for me. So I'm not regurgitating something that I think might work. I'm telling you how it affected me. And I'm sharing with you my passion for this thing. And now I know, I don't believe, I know. I know that life happens through me, not to me. I know that energy, frequency, and vibration is how you understand this universe. I know our energy matters. I know that telepathically I am connected to my inner being because it has been with me for eons. I feel it, it walks with me, it talks with me, it tells me who I am every day. These are the things that I know. I know mindfulness trumps all things always this is why i teach you to let this mind be in you this is why in a biblical text it said let this mind be in you by the renewing of this mind think it not robbery to be equal with god because of your mind and here the woman now who was running away from speaking and my mother as my witness i say well i ain't talking to nobody ever in this physical reality Ever. I don't want to talk to no people, no sick people. I ain't got nothing to tell them people. I don't know them people. I'm too shy for that. I'm too introverted with that. Why me? But in the book of Jeremiah, it stays heavily with me in my heart because it's the same prophecy that is prophesied over my life. The same dialogue that I had with my inner being. When it said you'll be a prophet amongst the nations, a healer. And I was like, oh, no, no, not me. Who would I tell them people? Oh, but I'll give you. This is a summary of the first chapter. Oh, I'll give you the words to say. And when you open up your mouth. And so when I be sitting up here, y'all, I, I'm connected to my inner being. And church folk, if you don't like this, you have a soul, you have a holy ghost. It's the same thing. I'm connected to my inner being that gives me the words to say every time I come to the tick, to the top, or to Facebook, or to Instagram, or to YouTube. I'm just giving the words to say. I don't be knowing what we gonna talk about. And every now and then I'll be like, oh, that's good. Because yet and still, even though I'm connected to infinite intelligence, I'm on a journey too, and I will forever be a student learning and evolving as I grow with my inner being. So these things that I'm sharing with you, I learned along the way. You could, you could pass it by if you want to, and I'll keep going because I also understand that I don't have time to give my pearls to no swine anyway. Go on your way because it is not your season. Go, it's not your season. And I'm not here for you if it's not your season. And that's my story, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry I got off topic with that. I felt the need that I needed to share my story to somebody who's back there just listening. Somebody that's up there in that in them in that box that have a similar story. Somebody up there that 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 didn't that don't want love no more because love is the thing that heals all. This is what you what you practice and he is love for self here. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Grand Goddess.
Thank you for listening. This is love for self. This is all tied together. Whether we're talking about, you'll see me at night hitting, in the, hitting the um, Tibetan bowls and the sound bowls. That is energy, frequency, and vibration. That's love for self. Eating for your blood type. That's love for self. Forgiving your father or your mother who, who, who hurt you and harmed you. That's still love for self. You ain't got to necessarily call them, but you can release the mindset. You can create imaginary scene where you just forgive them. That's love for self. Why is that? How is that love for self? Because life is happening through you. If you remember the old shitty story, that's all you're going to get. Play a new story so you can have love for self and you can thrive and surpass that part or that level in your game of life. Just practice love for self. I love me so much that I ain't even going to think negative about that no more. I love me so much that I'm going to give myself the substance that I need according to this matrix right here. That's my love for self. I love me so much that I'm going to be easy with myself. I'm not going to judge myself. This is why he said, judge, not least you be judged. No, I ain't going to judge myself. I'm going to be gentle with myself. I'm going to be kind with myself. My habitual thinking in my mind going to be easy on myself. When I eat certain foods, I'm going to bless my food because of my habitual thinking saying, I'm giving you life. And you, your order is to give me the minerals and the electrolytes that I need for this day. I order you this. That is love for self. Remember that. It's all about love for self. Oh. Woo. You have truly hit a nerve with me today. Thank you, Candy. Sister, we need that testimony. Always express yourself. Yeah, yeah. Awesome message. Thank you. You are so welcome. Hey, Survivor. Thank you. Yeah. And so I, I stumble with my words sometimes. Is this something you all probably never saw? But I'll be transparent in this moment. I stumble with my words sometimes. And it's because of the years that I didn't talk. I didn't speak once upon a time. And I'll use words wrong. I know. I know. But I'll keep going. I know. And, you know, my closest ones around me that hear me, they just laugh at me. And I'm, you know, I'll be like, what? I said that wrong. But you know what I mean. So they understand. And so I said... I used to, I used to, I used to not want to speak when I did have, in the beginning, when I did develop the passion, I used to still didn't want to speak because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to stumble my words or they're not going to understand me. And then when people, in the beginning, when people used to ask me, where you from? In my mind, I, my mind, I was thinking, oh, do they hear that I'm stumbling my words, whatever. But now I, I don't let that go. It just, it just is what it is. And I laugh at myself now. And that's growth for me. I used to sweat profusely when I would speak to people because it was so much a nervous energy like oh my god I'm a grown up even in in in, in corporate America I would I would try to volunteer to do the PowerPoint presentations but in the beginning I was I was like an executive assistant that was always in the back but as I tried to grow with my confidence I would volunteer to be, do PowerPoint presentations and I would do morning sunrise meetings with alignments I worked in the utility field just so that I can get up there and push through the sweat because I knew I knew that this day was inevitable that I had to come to this place where I would want to speak because the passion when you have a passion it's almost like there's just there's just there's just um, this bag this extra bag if I could explain it this extra bag and then in this extra bag this is almost like another heart and you are you're connected to this other heart so much and it's so much on your heart that you gotta kind of like share health and wellness you, you gotta inspire people you gotta you gotta smile at people you gotta motivate just because this extra heart is beating with your heart and i'd like to think of this heart as being my inner being saying come on come on keep on going i'm right here i'm right here yeah i need you to talk to them or oh, that person right there needs a word from you and and so now i'm at that place where i'm leading through this heart yeah, but this heart don't ever leave me wrong though it always bring the right people to me and I'm happy about it. I'm happy about where I am. The manifestations now that I can, I, can, I seem to manifest instant manifestations. Because I love myself. Because I'm easy with myself. Because I have the ability to focus. Because now my brain, both of my brains are intertwined. And they're healed and whole. I manifested early retirement for myself. Financial freedom for myself. A beautiful quality of life for myself. 
by listening to myself, by loving on myself, by being easy with myself. The most important thing to me in the physical reality is me evolving. That's it. That's it. Okay, let's get back to it. That's it. You're amazing. Thank you. 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 I needed this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Keish. Thank you. Okay. So, back at it. So, we were talking about the oils and how they thrive. And so, we they have beneficial oils and stuff. They respond really well to oils. And that love that um, at home potion that I have available on my website, sort of the earth pub.org, it is really symbolic of um, you having your proper oil that's going to lubricate that liver and them kidneys and large and small intestines and get all that old fecal matter out of you. And so, type O um, also has a variety of nuts and seeds, but they need to avoid the harmful ones, right? They need to avoid harmful ones, and the harmful ones are like the cashews, like um, Brazilian nut. Even though Brazilian nut is really, really highly beneficial for other blood types, and it is a healthy nut in itself, because Brazilian nut has something called selenium inside of it. Selenium is needed for the thyroid. Selenium, iodine, and magnesium is needed for the thyroid, right? So for you O's, I wanna share with you what you need for your thyroid since you can't get the Brazilian nut. You need to cater more to the walnut. Walnut will be your, in lieu of your selenium that you probably would have gotten from your Brazil nut, which is a powerful nut, but it just don't, it's just don't resonate with you. So walnuts are good for you. I suffered with thyroid issues once upon in my journey. Sea vegetables, walnuts, and magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. This is why I say this. Oh, you're going to get your magnesium from your beneficial vegetables that's on your food list. The link is in my bio for your food list. So, since magnesium is needed in every organ in the body, what magnesium is doing is detoxing those organs for you, right? Your sea vegetables have your iodine that you need, like kelp granules, sea vegetables, like, um, um, the, you know, like when you get like the sushi wrap, that green paper is what I'm talking about. Those, they even have those like in a little container where you put a snack on them. So you choose the sea vegetable that's on your list. So that's going to be your highly beneficial sea vegetable that has the iodine in there for your thyroid function. And the reason why I keep talking about the iodine, I mean the thyroid for the um, oils is because they suffer with thyroid um, issues, right? Let me show you. Let me show you a little seasoning right here. These right here, even if you don't like, like for example, you don't like the, um, you know, the little paper seaweeds, you can just get a seasoning like this here, kelp. This is the beneficial for, for you old. You can get one of these right here. And so when you're cooking, now you just lightly sprinkle some kelp granules inside of your food. Now you got your iodine. Your iodine. And so... You got your iodine and if you get your green leafy vegetables that are in alignment with your blood type as the old that's on my list they're gonna have your magnesium all vegetables gonna have the magnesium that you need and they also gonna have the um let's say iodine oh and, and they also gonna be able to detox your body because they're gonna have the ma magnesium that you need so now you equip with everything you need with your walnut that's going to be your selenium, your kelp, that's going to be your iodine, and your vegetables, that's going to be your magnesium. You do them things that's helping you in the physical with your iodine. But I must share with you, you heard my story. Love heals all. Physical is 0.01% of all there is. In the spiritual reality, you owes with your thyroid issues. It is because you're not speaking your truth. It is because energetically there's a stumbling block. So we got to get to healing that trauma too now. So what I would also at the same time when you're doing your walnut, you're doing your iodine, and you're doing your magnesium from your green leafy vegetables, I would encourage you to start speaking from your heart. How do I speak to my heart as a woman? Oh, well, you love Nori? Good for you, babe. You, um, you speak from your heart by saying the things that you feel like, oh, it feels like a beautiful day. Oh, I feel so relaxed. 
I feel so in alignment right now talking about my passion. I feel amazing. I feel so lucky if you around people that you love. I feel so happy to be, you know, that you chose me and we living this life together. I feel this, you know, the good feelings out, outweighing the bad feelings. What's happening? You're opening up that heart. The heart is about feeling, emotion. If you're a man, man, I feel so good today that I'm eating for my blood type, man. I feel like I'm like this lady on or something. Man, I feel so optimistic. Today gonna be a good day. However you want to macho do it, but you still need to open up your heart too. This heart has an electromagnetic field of energy that can open up every chakra pool of energy in your body. When I say chakra pool of energy, I mean that there's a pool of energy that correlates with every organ on your body and if you clog it up because of the way you thinking the way you're functioning it in the spiritual reality has to manifest in the physical so what you experiencing spiritually you hating somebody you not wanting to talk you being jealous you holding on to that molestation event now you don't want to be around men or women or whatever. Whatever you're thinking about in that spiritual reality is going to show up in your physical reality in your body wherever it correlates, whichever organ it correlates as sickness and disease. Okay, I just shared this whole story about how it showed up in mine. This here is 99.999% of all there is. You can't see this spiritual right here, but this is energy right here. <laughs> you can't see it. You can't see gravity, but that mean that don't mean when I stand up, I ain't going to float. You can't see it, but it's real. Okay? <laughs> so handle the matters of your heart. Work on your trauma issues. Because just like, just like the people that have hate and stuff in their heart, they end up the people... You know, with the heart attacks, you know, not wanting to forgive. The people who didn't have a mom, it just, it just works like this. It all ties together. Everything is connected, just like these two brains connected. The people who didn't have their mama nourishing them, they're the ones that end up with the breast cancer type issue because stuff start happening right here. The people that don't want to express their truth, they end up with the thyroid issues because, you know, they take they too, that they can't talk and speak from the heart, right? The people that have been molested or whatever, they end up with the little ovary type issues, the little cysts and things right there, right? right? Come on now. Everything is connected. So if I'm going to teach you the physical, I'm going to throw in that spiritual side up in it. I have a course on my website called the Power Within Transformation Course. It teaches you how to grocery shop. It teaches how to um, heal your organs. It's 18 how-to videos that I left behind initially for my family, but it's available for you if you need that. But the beautiful thing about this transformation course is it not only teaches you the physical, it also teaches you the spiritual reality too. Because I know all stems from the spiritual reality first before it manifests into the physical reality. So for those of you who need that course, it's called the Power Within Transformation Course. And I'm going to teach you not only about how to grocery shop but i'm gonna also teach you how to med meditate you're gonna learn how to clean them organs but i'm also gonna teach you mindfulness at the same time because they go hand in hand in this physical once again it's only 0 0.01 of all there is everything else the 99.9999999999 is spiritual okay everything is happening through here through your human imagination, to, to how you're feeling, to the signal that you're putting out. This is why it says, my word cannot come back to me for void. Because if I'm sending out a signal that says I am worthy, then it got to show me in my life that I feel worthy. If I'm sending out a signal that I'm the victim, then it got to show in my life I'm the victim. So you got you to gotta attract the narcs until you get that signal right. You got to get molested until you get that signal right because you sent the signal out. You was thinking about it all day and all night. You was fearful of it. And that made it really, really uh, like a firecracker for instant manifestation to come back to you. Because your fears manifest. In the biblical text, my favorite uh, character was Job. He said, that which I have feared has come upon me. That's what I fear the most. It has come upon me. So, 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 so if you want to try 
Then stop being scared. Clear that energy out there. Send out a new signal. Okay, back at it. So we was on thyroid issues, right? You just made me understand things in my life. Yeah, survival, you got to. Because life is happening through you, baby. I want to teach y'all about health and wellness, but I also want to teach you about the spiritual side. Because that trumps all of this here. So that way you know. You, you be able to do both of them. You be able to do both of them. Then you can walk on wall to do whatever it is. You know, you got your superpowers back all the way. Not half a, it's all the way. So, so you don't utilize beans particularly well. Um, so really, there's only two beans in your highly beneficial food list for beans that are really good for you. So you need to avoid lentils, all types of lentils, oils, all type of kidney beans, navy beans, soybeans, even soybean pasta, tamarind beans, because they don't digest well with your body. All right. Most pastas um, are made with semolina wheat. So you got to be careful with them when you're freaking up pastas as well and wheat is something that really causes you depression because it takes your life force from you O's. it takes your life force from you it's nothing that um that benefits you with it so you really need to stay clear away from bread if i were i have um O's in my house if i was every time i say that i think about this here there's some O's in this house there's some O's in this house i, I don't know why but anyway, <laughs> so I have O's in my house. And so if I was in particular O, I would not have any wheat, any bread at all. Because, I mean, it it don't benefit them at all. It just, womp, womp, womp. Take away their little light force, like, right? <laughs> I'm serious. I got some O's. I, I bought an O through in the physical reality. How about that? And I'm a B. So, but I'm there to O though. Mm, yeah, that ain't, that ain't a knocking bloodline, boy. I know good. I know good. When I when I feel good spiritually, I know that good stuff. That good, good. So anyway, stay away from breads. They really don't serve you well. Um, they don't serve you well at all. At all. Uh, quinoa is a good thing, a beneficial um, thing as far as like a grain is concerned to have with, you know, over food and different you know different things you're going to serve but i would say away from bread particularly if i was old but the vegetables that's why i was ready to get to you have a plethora of vegetables because you thrive off of meat and vegetables right the nightshades such as eggplant and potatoes though you have to stay away from them too because they cause inflammation in your body because of the lectins in it yeah all O's should also avoid corn, especially if there's a weight problem with you that maybe runs in your family because maybe other people done tore up their digestive system too, or that they've been eating corn as well. You should stay clear from that. Tomatoes are a special case. They, um, they, uh, they have lectins in them. But because you have so much of hydrochloric acid, you can eat tomatoes. Like for B, B, we got to stay away from tomatoes, right? O's, you can consume them. But for the O's in my family, still and all, they don't consume tomatoes a lot. But you got to keep that in mind, though. I mentioned these tomatoes and taking a break on it because it's really the vinegar in, like, ketchup that you can't consume. So it's cool to, you know, have your tomato hit here and there. But even though they're like nightshade, it ain't going to harm you, though, because you got all of this hydrochloric acid destroying that thing. But my point here is, I wouldn't suggest nobody over indulging tomatoes because of them being the nightshade is all I'm saying. So we're going to avoid cucumbers, cauliflower, uh, mustard green, silver white, silver dollar and white mushrooms as a O. Okay. We're going to just avoid them. But all, there's a plethora of other vegetables that are so highly beneficial for the O's.
very beneficial. There aren't even many fruits. There are many fruits at all that the olds can consume. Matter of fact, it, 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 blows, it blows my mind when I think about the fact that about the oranges that they can't. Because the oranges, if you think about it, oranges are already ascetic. And so they really produce bacteria overgrowth in the gut of an oak. But here's an orange, and I have some in my refrigerator right here, called um, kumquats. And you know what? Let me show you. Let me show you the juice that I made. Kumquats. Let me show you this here. Kumquats are orange-like, but they're not oranges. And so these are highly actually beneficial for oils. You can get these at the international market near you. Google international market near me. You know, it'd be like the little Asian show in New Orleans. They called it Hong Kong. Out here in Arizona, they call it Mekong. So it's got, it's going to have probably Kong on it somewhere. <laughs> and I love those people because they, they own the whole darn strip. And um, anyway, that's where I go to shop at. So kumquats are highly beneficial and they don't produce that bacteria overgrowth like um, the oranges would. And so they still could get their, you know, vitamin C per se, and it's not up, and this is helping with their um, digestive enzymes instead of messing up their digestive enzymes like oranges would be doing. And these things are really, really cool because you can eat them with the skin on here. It has a sweet slash tart taste to them. They're really good. They're a little expensive though because they're so powerful in all blood types. If your other blood types is here, all blood types can benefit. Um, I'm on old. I'm sorry. All blood types can benefit from the kumquats. You was giving New Orleans and Jamaica the voice. <laughs> oh, okay. So here we go. This here drink. This here drink I made from kumquats. So what I did was I put a batch of these here in a blender. I put them in a blender with some water, some spring water, kumquats and some agave so i blended this kumquats kumquats in water first and then i strained the um you know the peel and stuff and i only added just a little bit if you can see of the pulp at the bottom i just shook it so it's kind of like a little cloudy and i added a little bit of pulp because i like a little bit but not as much as what was in the blender after i finished blending it and i just strained it and i put it in this little um gallon jug and so now we have kumquat juice in the refrigerator and use your sweet sweeten it with your beneficial sweetener and agave is really beneficial for all blood types as a sweetener of choice so i put some agave up in here and you can get fancy with it you can get fancy with it and add you know like another beneficial fruit juice that's on your list and just make it taste like you know a little tangy citrusy drink get fancy with it be creative with it but yeah o's should stay away from orange juice and as far as like the um the um avoidable drinks that you should be avoiding cucumber since you gotta avoid the cucumber itself you need to avoid the cucumber juice orange juice beer why beer because of the yeast you remember we staying away from the wheat and so they have the wheat in the beer. Like that's just like a liquid wheat drink beer. So you need to stay away from um, um, that. And the problem that coffee poses for O is the increased levels of stomach acid that they produce in its long-term effects on your body. And because you already as a type o have all this hydrochloric acid you don't need more so if you're a coffee drinker maybe you could cut down on the amount of coffee that you drink and maybe consume some of the teas instead that's on your list because coffee is acidic just like that apple cider vinegar is acidic just like that orange juice is acidic you see where i'm going so you don't need that because you have the most hydrochloric acid which is already an acid that some people have a problem controlling as a o 
This is why, hence, the O's get the thyroid issues. They'll have the peptic ulcer issues. Their issues are normally like right up in this here area, and it has to do with the fact that they have this high amount of hydrochloric acid. But there are some herbs like bladder rack that'll help you with um, this hyper acidity of your digestive system. Let me see. Let me show you that if, if, you, if you could give me a minute. I got everything up in this dirt. <laughs> I got everything up in here. Let's see. I only have a little bit left. I only have a little bit left, but I could at least show you how it looks in this bag this is bladder rack and so what i do because i have o's up in here there's some o's in this house there's some o's in this house so i have o's up in here and so what i'll do is i'll put it in the tea i'll put some bladder rack in the tea pot and so like that drink i just showed you with that drink I just showed you. Oh, no, I got too much stuff up in the refrigerator to get that one up. It's all the way in the back. Anyway, that drink I just showed you, like that citrus type drink, what I would do, being creative, is I will boil some bladder rack, and it looks like this here, if you can see this. I'll boil some bladder rack, and this is this here has a lot of iodine too, hence it's good for those. I'll boil some of this here bladder rack in the teapot, right? And so, after I boil it, that water, that same water that I was going to be using with the um, kumquats, is be the same water that I that I finished boiling the bladder rack that I use up in here when I blend it in the blender. And so when I'm sifting at the tail end, that water is bladder rack rich, that water is kumquat rich, and that water has the agave. So now peep out what we just did with that. We just created iodine in there, in that um, water for that um, thyroid. We got our vitamin C from our kumquats. We, we got, um, congratulations, whoever that is that's purchased their meal plan. We got a lymphatic drainer because anytime you're dealing with a, a um, fruit like this here, this is draining the lymphatic system which is the backup for the blood so it's purifying the blood here then we got agave agave is a beneficial bacteria for the gut you know how they talk about acidophilus with probiotic and and prebiotic it's agave it's agave so when you have those thick and tacky things like that there like agave syrup like you know certain fruits um like prunes for the O's, for example, it goes in and it cle is cleaning the walls of the large and small intestines in the gut because it's thick and tacky, it's sticky like, so it's sticking to them parasites, it's sticking to them pathogens, it's almost cleaning up all the waste. And so now this is why when you go to the restroom, the bulky stool is bulkier because of what you just consumed because it picked up and grabbed things along the way. So that's kind of like how that, that works. Maybe I needed to hear that. I went way off with that. But bladder wrap is a type of kelp that tends to connect or, you know, a counteract that hyper acid, um, acidity of the digestive system. And so it's highly effective for, effective for the O's metabolism. You know, it increases strength. You know, it detoxes that, um, that thyroid gland for them. It helps with regularity. It helps them to lose weight. So that's really, really a beneficial tea. I'm giving you that one on this live <laughs> that you can use in lieu of whatever you're doing else on the meal plan. And it's listed on the meal plan as well. So it is so important that you get the meal plan, you get the vegetables that you need, you get the fruit but you don't have a lot as an old that you need consume that thing and get that integrity of that gut working again and so you can thrive again because you're the hunter you're the gatherer you're the one with most physical strength and endurance and so last but not least for the olds the you gotta stay to recap we you go with the tomatoes but the vinegar is the thing that you gotta stay away from all vinegars so that means pick a relish that means your apple cider vinegar, 
That means um, you'll catch up. You need to stay away from high fructose corn syrup, but everybody everybody does because that's man-made. Remember, you're the original man and no high fructose corn syrup wasn't made. High fructose corn syrup tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really, really full. And you need to be getting full as a O of your meat and your vegetables, mostly O's. And dextrose, that's in potato chips. But here's the thing, you shouldn't be consuming potatoes anyway, so you need to chill out with the potato chips. If you stay full off of your um, um, meat and your vegetables and you drink your teas <laughs> and, um, and you drink your teas, really, you'll thrive. You'll thrive. With a simple diet just like that, you will thrive. Leave, and leaving all of that wheat alone, nobody will be able to tell you nothing. Nobody will be able to tell you that you will not be able to tell you that you ain't God in the physical reality just coming here just pacing through and just giving us grace just gracing us with your presence gracing us for, with your fire and your power within because you'll be God in the physical form just walking around here transforming energy manifesting being positive increased dopamine increased serotonin physical strength like a God supposed to be you better wake yourself up you're so welcome Nikki any questions up in here? I'm finished finally. Have you talked about A? No, babe. I, I've been running my mouth and ain't talk about nobody else. I didn't, I didn't had testimony time and everything up in here. I didn't told my story about how God been good to me and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm finally finished with the O's. For the O's that stay true with my whole spiel. Any questions? Y'all tap the screen and get us up to 15,000 likes. Let's get up to 15,000 likes because I gave y'all my everything on that one. Let's get to 15,000. We right there at 13,000. Give me to 15,000 over here. And can we get can we get closer to like 8,000 over here? I'm about to take a break. It's, 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 it's offering time. Y'all tap that screen. It's offering time. And then y'all tell me what we, what we discussing next. It's offering time. Oh, we at 13.7. We almost there. It's offering time. We at 7.3 over here on Goddess Just Be Healthy. We almost there. Oh, that feels so good. Y'all be manipulating y'all water, right? Y'all put y'all sodium bicarbonate in y'all Celtic salt in y'all water, right? Yeah, spring water. It tastes good. It's good on the kidneys. I'm giving you electrolytes and everything you need. We have 15 yet? Yep, we have 15 over here. We had 7.8 over here. Let, let's just, let us get a little bit more over here. And then I'll get started looking at the questions and I'll answer questions if I missed them when I was yapping my mouth. And see what y'all want to talk about next. We have 7.8. We're almost there. 7.8. Can I get a 7.9? Can I get a 8,000? Let's see. 7.8? I'm waiting for y'all over here on God is Just Be Healthy. Y'all just looking at me? 7.9? Okay, it's moving now. It's moving now. Come on, let us get to 8,000 so we can finish. And I can answer questions and stuff. The link is in my bio. Sort of the earth pub.org is the name of my website. And it's at the top of the screen. There we go. We had 8,000 over here. Thank you for giving to me as I give to you. So let's see. Any questions up in here? Thank you. As an O, I can really tell you my information is down so much. Oh, okay. You've been doing it. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Scorpio over there. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. You gotta follow that meal plan. I, I know I know that the information comes down drastically. I know that it comes down, down drastically and it feels so, so, so good. So good. Let's see. Um, hmm. What else we got over here? Is rye crackers, rye is, is um, beneficial. Yes, it is. Wendy, yes. Let's see, what else we got up in here? That glare. Uh, you got me 
emotional, but I'm in a happy way. Oh, good. That must be when I was telling my story. Okay, speak on. Okay, that's when I was telling my story. Let me see if they got some messages over here. See what y'all talking about. You are so welcome. I'm new here. Uh, how? Oh, have you lived in New Orleans? Yeah, I used to live in New Orleans all my life. Um, I just came out here. It's It's been a year. I just made my year out here in Arizona now. But yeah, I'm all positive. Oh, you got your blood type, Nikki. I'm so happy for you. Appreciate you, sister goddess. You're so welcome, babe. I remember my doctor told me about the nightshade fruits and vegetables. Really? A doctor? Hmm, that's interesting. Where do I get the meal plan? Link is in my bio. You click on my picture up here and go to my bio and you'll see my website. It's just on my website. My website address is org. And when you go there, it's going to be at the very top of the screen for you to purchase the meal plan for your blood type. So first you got to know what your blood type is. And then when you find that out, you go to the website. So this is going to be the top of the website right here. And you clicking on these black words right here. I put it at the top. I put it at the top because there's, you know, so many people going to it and it's like, where is it? So you just click on these words right here at the top. Once you get to salt of the earth pub.org and it's going to open it up and send you directly to the meal plan. And the image of it looks just like this here, like little blood, little ABs, the O's, the ABs. And you put in your blood type on the description because you don't have to choose. So you choose in between whether or not you're A, a B, a AB, and an O in order for you to put it in the cart. And you're going to instantly download that to your phone. And it's going to be sent when you process the payment. It will automatically be sent to you. Let's see. What's a good detox for the good? I can't answer that unless um I know your blood type. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to irritate your gut. What if your gut is a O? I mean, an A gut. A A gut can't be irritated. But if you're looking for a gut detoxer, you would, for your blood type, you want to get the potion. Now, I would only recommend really the potion for the people who sick and can't get to the store. That need something right now just to help them. Outside of that, everybody else should be getting the blood type meal plan. So that way they can incorporate the foods too. So don't don't just try to, I mean, if you're just going to get the potion, you kind of half ass in it in a sense. And so now you're going to still what? Eat Chick-fil-A and cause inflammation and then go get the potion and you, you want to gamble like with it? Just get the meal plan, which is at the top, that'll give you your beneficial foods. That way when you go to the grocery store, at least you could buy your beneficial meat here and there. You'll buy your vegetables here and there. And then you'll begin to make this here a lifestyle. But... Nonetheless, you know, grandma say, oh, hey, make a soul face, but, you know, and then that applies to us sometimes. So if, if you, if you're not sick and you still want to only get the potion because you, I don't know why, but here you go. Only potion is right here for your blood type. It looks like this here image on my website. It's very inexpensive. It's a potion that you will put together with the oils for your blood type, with herbs for your blood type. Everything for your blood type that'll help you just to go to the bathroom. Help you clean your liver and your kidneys just for your blood type. And it's just the potion in that. Nothing else is going to come with that. Do not get that if you order the meal plan because it's already on page three for you. If you order the meal plan, it comes with your potion for your blood type. In case you starting off your meal plan sick, that'll be the first thing you start with your potion get that in your system to unclog that liver unclog that larger small intestines and the kidneys first all right let's see let's see okay um how to start detoxification i have a um just for detox you could either start with the potion which is something that you could be doing three times a day with the oils and the herbs that you consume or or i have a sustained detox that's a deep 30-day detox that you could do with herbs potent herbs that will replenish the iron in your body the largest form of iron being sarsaparilla the o's need sarsaparilla for iron very beneficial for them and it's called sustained detox it's available on my website anytime you're doing a detox if you 
clowning around and said, oh, I got a detox for overnight. Well, lies and garbage because your body don't work like that. You need a detox that's going to be at least 30 days. That way it gets to a cellular level. Sustained detox is available on my website. And it's a detox at a cellular level, replenishing you while detoxing you. So it's going to replenish your magnesium, replenishing your iron, replenishing all the vital minerals and nutrients that you need to thrive. 30 days. You consume it with um with a juice. It's really, really bitter herbs now. So if you get empty veggie capsules to put the powder form in, or you consume it with maybe something thick citrusy like the kumquat juice or something like that to digest it is very bitter but the bitter the better bitter herbs really help with the liver and the kidneys and the pancreas and, and adrenal glands all at the same time large and small intestines because the bitter herbs and just think about it like this you like bitter it's kind of nasty if it's nasty for you that means if they have some critters up in here it's going to be nasty and intolerable for them because of how pungent and bitter it is and so it's going to wipe them suckers out of the body that's the easy way that i just remember stuff like that but bitter is so powerful i'm sorry where do i get the meal plan okay i answered that one i lost 10 pounds in a week by simply eating from my blood type look at you look at you i'm so happy for you nat that's so beautiful. What do you put in your water? I put um, gray salt and sea salt and sodium bicarbonate in spring water to um, give me my electrolytes. And because the lining of our stomach needs sodium bicarbonate as a buffer, if it's not there, you're easily accessible, um, susceptible to um, ulcers. Oh, so I need to be doing that or drinking you know, water with sodium bicarbonate when it's in it already. But them little regular waters that we get in the cases from them, you know, stores, and they don't have it in there. So what I do is I buy them anyway, and I manipulate my water, and I put it in there myself. Just a little pinch of gray Celtic salt, and then a little pinch of um, um, sodium bicarbonate. Congratulations to you, whoever just purchased the meal plan. I put a little pinch up in my water and that water tastes so soft and smooth. Now the sodium bicarbonate is the thing that alkalizes the water. So now I have my own manipulated alkalized water and my own electrolytes because it's the salts that give you the electrolytes. And the electrolytes in salt is how you replenish hydrochloric acid. So O's don't have that problem with the salts. But for my A's, my B's that's here or my AB's, you need to be definitely manipulating your water definitely because you lack the hydrochloric acid the oil's got all of it <laughs> but you lack it like right so you still need to make sure and even if you are oh you still need um sodium bicarbonates because you have so much of acids and being that you get, can you're susceptible to those peptic ulcers the acid inside of the stomach so this is the stomach this here border of the stomach is the foundation of it is sodium bicarbonate because if it didn't have sodium bicarbonate like making this here base here then the acids that was in here as a O would be bleeding through here and you literally be on fire because the acid in your stomach if you was to touch it it's supposed to be is acidic enough to like you know fry your hand you know fry your finger away so just imagine if you don't have this here border right here with your sodium bicarbonate, then your body, your abdominal cavity and everything will just be on fire. So it's so important for you, oh, to put some sodium bicarbonate inside your um, water. Now we ain't talking about no, um, what they call that? Arm and hammer. Let me show you that. And then I'm about to get up out of here. I've been running my mouth for a long time, I think. 10. I've almost been running my mouth for three hours. Nobody can believe I'm an introvert messing with y'all. <laughs> So let me show you that. All right. So this here is Bob's Red Mill. You can get this here off of Amazon. Or you can go to Whole Foods store looking around for it. But uh, just go to Amazon. Let the people bring the stuff to your house and stop all of that ripping and running. Here, we got some sodium bicarbonate. Organic baking soda. Not the Arm & Hammer. Don't you go put no 99 cent Arm & Hammer in your order and you're telling people that I told you that. Because I never told you that. No. Don't do it. 
You tell them you t you you decide to do that. You decide to do the cheap stuff. Okay, we're gonna get some organic red meal baking soda. Okay, and we're gonna put some of this here in our drinking water. What does this do? Baking soda is antifungal. Get rid of that fungus up in here. Baking soda increases alkalinity. If you ever had a swim pool, I have a swim pool, and I used to have to clean it. Your your swim pool can be green, and dirty, and everything. And still be a high pH balance. So for those people that's out there that just, oh, I gotta get the alkaline water. Oh, oh, oh. That don't mean nothing. Alkalinity don't mean nothing. What about the fungus up in here? Hmm? What's killing that fungus? Hmm? Hmm? So you make sure you get you some sodium bicarbonate. It's man-made water. Be manipulated. And they don't have the minerals that it need. It don't have the um, sodium bicarbonate it needs. So I just have my water out. And then I'm, I'll be fine. So let me answer some more. Um, I answered that. I put my website there. Same here. I lost 20 pounds. Look at Nikki. Go, Nikki. I'm blood type O. Out of the question, how do you wrap your hair? Oh, just tie a knot and just keep on going round, round, round. It's really easy. Uh, what's a good detox for the gut? Sustain detox available on my website. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, y'all congratulating each other. I like that. It says, oh, can eat kumquat. Then it says you can on the furniture. Can you please explain? Oh, can eat kumquat. Then it says you can. It says it can and then you can. No, you can't eat oranges. But you can eat kumquat. Is my explanation of that. Are oh, you teaching? Yep. From eating for your blood type, yep. Um, I'm allergic to any dollar, everything green, meaning I'm working on getting these hives under control. Oh, okay. You gotta eat for your blood type. I'm allergic to all green vitamins in powder form. No, you gotta go to the vegetables. Leave them supplements, supplements alone because the supplements might not even be, you know, for your blood type, you know? Like, you got to find out what is it coming from. Like, when you're going to go to supplements, okay, turn it around and find out what the ingredients is. For example, if you're looking for, I don't know, magnesium, and it's sourced from alfalfa, well, you can't, you're not supposed to be eating alfalfa. So, that ain't going to work for you if it ain't on a highly beneficial list. So, forget all of that crap. Go for the things on a highly beneficial list. That stuff is where your iron is. It's where your magnesium is. Eat the vegetables on your list and you don't even need no supplements. I don't take no supplements at all. Okay, you have that? Okay, good. All blood types um, selection has a meal plan. Every blood type. Yeah, every blood type has a meal plan. Every last one of them that's on the link in my bio. bio. How much for type AB? It's, I can't talk about dollars amount on here for the guidelines on TikTok, but I kind of showed it to you on the screen. My friend has cancer. What should he he should eat for his blood type? Everything on that meal plan. That's gonna be the answer to all of these probably. Eat for your blood type. I can't tell you nothing else. Cancer is just a, you just a little bit more ascetic. You should be drinking them teas for the blood type that's on that meal plan because you're just ascetic from zero to seven. Chemo is ascetic, so the doctor's gonna try to give you something that's more ascetic to kill your already ascetic body. So you're gonna be super ascetic when you finish with the chemo thing. But you can just go over here, the alkaline range, which is 3.5 and above, and you can start eating these kind of foods. That's on your meal plan. That's on the list to get you from the aesthetic side to the more alkaline side and get you back in the proper balance. And then you thrive. And then you release that via your large and small intestines and you kill the parasites. You fix your um, microbiome diversity in your gut. You have your metabolism increase. You kill them parasites because all of that leads to parasites. That's why if they have cancer, they low on magnesium. I know this already because the parasites are sucking and draining the life force for them. And magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. And what parasites does is it gets in the nooks and the crevices of your digestive system and it takes root. You don't feel this happening, but then they build a shield around themselves, a lupic coating around the virus, around the parasite to protect them. So when you eat certain things, whatever, you take certain drugs, whatever, it don't even penetrate or affect them. 
But when you eat the right foods for your blood type, when you drink them herbal teas that's on that list for your blood type, when you drink or put them herbs on your food for your blood type, you burst through the lipid coating virus. And then them suckers start to come out. Then you get diarrhea or maybe bulky stool. Then your urine gets a little darker. Why is that? Because you're releasing toxins. Because you're destroying them, you'll see little dots. It look like little sesame seeds sometimes in your in your stool when you're releasing parasites. You'll see little flukes. It look like almost like chopped up tomatoes floating around in your bowel movement when you're releasing parasites. Or some people see the actual parasite, the big old worm, the big old fluke or whatever, you know, looking like little roaches or whatever in the bowel movement. It depends upon the level of to toxicity that you put your body in. But all of that can be reversed by eating for your blood type manipulating the energy and living only on for an appointed time until you all the way 100 living only on your highly beneficial foods that's on that food list and you will thrive every sickness and disease will be eliminated i used to wear glasses i used to be anemic i used to be overweight i used to have irritable bowel syndrome i used to <laughs> have painful periods i used to have acne I, my hair was used to be thinning all of that because i changed my diet and I, I begin to love myself too, because love heals all. You know, by changing your diet, this is practicing love. Okay, sprinkle that on lemon. Yeah, you can sprinkle some lemon water on it. Um, I went to a natural spring to collect fresh. Oh, spring water, really? In a natural spring? Go ahead on. So, you can buy carbonates for water. Yeah, I bought an old diet, wasn't able to download. Well, look in your emails then, and you just click on the link and just save it there. Come quart. Yeah, come quarts yeah yes i'm doing that exactly fresh fruit and juice is the way for me to to go yeah that's it what tea for O? um the ones only that's listed on the um on the meal plan it's listed on the meal plan underneath teas and their beverages for all blood types so you talking good yeah is it good to take sea moss for minerals um i don't trust the sea mosses out there let me look at these here questions over here i don't trust the sea mosses out there because they got so many man-made sea mosses i get mine from somebody in jamaica and i know mine is real but when the sea moss hit to go to the masses i stopped getting it from any other person besides that person if you would get sea moss i would strongly say that you would get it from etsy.com and you go to etsy.com you find out if the vendor in themselves lives up in that particular jamaica area you know when they live in that particular area they'll most likely be giving away the real one but another thing even for buying from them i would say buy a smaller amount when you buy small you can take it home you get your order you ain't waste that much money and you can feel it you want to be feeling for texture on it it should feel and you should hear the crackling of it like chinese noodles dried chinese noodles it should not be soft it should not have a whole bunch of salt that's just falling over the place because sea vegetables soak in the minerals and so salt is something that man made and they're shaking some little noodles and they're making genetically modified sea moss so don't get caught up into that thinking that you're giving yourself something good when it's genetically modified and it's not giving you the iodine that you need and the minerals that you need but you can easily bypass that by going to etsy getting a small amount knowing what it feel like how much in that the salt should be inside of it and or just getting sea vegetables from the um international market like the seasonings the salt the sh uh, kelp that i showed you or like the sushi wrap papers at the vegetable at the farmers markets or at the international markets that you can purchase and you know that that's real stop following the man mass type stuff because they just they try to short change things and take people money when the whole world on to it you go somewhere else just let them wall out because you know back in for example in new orleans louisiana we would get hurricanes all the time then the contractors from all over the world to come all over the world to come and save us people that didn't even know how to do tape walls tape and float walls they come to save us get us in the contract and try to bamboozle us and take our deposit like right so you always have them type of energies out there when stuff hit the masses get don't i wouldn't i don't i don't trust all them people people be about money people be so into their lower sales what about sea moss capsules okay 
if they if they say oh there that it's from the the original seed moss go for it what does it matter if if i've had my gall blood or does it matter if i've had it removed um before you get it removed i would say if i was talking to you then i'd be like yeah it matter yeah it matter don't you let the people take nothing off you you need that that's part of your lymphatic system that's part of you detoxing but if it's already been removed you can't go back to the ham time to get it put back up in here so i will say to you that um now your body is going to have to go through other avenues to release that's why i would say don't don't take let the people take that out of there your body's going to have to trap have things travel a certain other pathway to get out but i would say to you definitely you should be on the straight and narrow in it for your blood type definitely you should be consuming your highly beneficial oil to lubricate to keep your liver you know functioning properly still and going through another avenue to go through another drainage of your lymph to unclog your liver and so that means definitely your highly beneficial oils you're going to need them definitely you're going to need some lemon or key lime in your diet definitely you have to have those two things because those two things together help with the lymphatic system and you're going to need yours flowing and moving and stay hydrated with water with sodium bicarbonate that i was just talking about and with electrolytes you know your pink or your gray celtic sea salt but i mean you could live without it but if i'm telling you if i'm meeting you before the date of surgery i'll be like no better not do that <laughs> you know but um what's it called again i don't even know what i was talking about i'm late on your comment um mark o is saying goodbye oh thank you mark for being here <sighs> is that all that you put in the water yeah how much should i add to the bottle of water sorry if i missed it but what's the best urge for o positive you got to get the um, meal plan for all of that we, we you missed it or you got to look at the rebroadcast all right, I'm going to do the water and then I'm going to get up out of here. Let me get a water bottle. Let me get a water bottle. And we're going to do the water. And then I'm about to go. Because I've been on here since 10 o'clock this morning. Now, I, I know I'm retired and not and all. But, um, but guess what? I still could be watching the birds or something. <laughs> Wait, let me get, let me get something. Let me do this right quick. Uh, I would say maybe one, mm, one eighth of a little, oh no, not even that much. Okay, this is a water bottle, won't, 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 regular one. Just make sure this is spring, spring, not reverse osmosis, not distilled, spring, turn around. Look at the bottle. When it comes in the case, you're looking for the one that says spring. Not the seal. You hear me? <laughs> I'm busting at y'all because y'all be buying water that don't even have no life in it. And you need the electrolytes in the water. Y'all paying attention? Let's see. Let's see. It's gone. It's gone already. I don't know what you're talking about on that. The name of the baking soda. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, babe. Baking soda. Bob's Red Meal. Red Meal. Bob's Red Meal. Baking soda. And this here salt. Let me show you that. The salt that I'm talking about is great. Your salt should have color. Your salt, salt should have hue. Just go to Amazon. We're going to go to Amazon and get both of these. This here is Celtic salt. Gray. See, it say light the gray. That's what that say in case the words are backwards. Okay, we're doing this here, and then I'm about to get up out of here. So that's what I got in my hand. This is how you manipulate your water. Because you need sodium bicarbonate. You need electrolytes. You look at Evian water. Turn it around. It's going to tell you. Sodium bicarbonate. It's going to tell you. Electrolytes. It's going to tell you silica. Silica in here. Electrolytes in here. Magnesium in here. Yeah, that's the stuff that's in your salt. You need this. You are the salt of the earth. You need salt. These, these don't normally have nothing. These just be filtered water. Anybody can make water. Anybody can get an LLT and filter some water and sell it to the masses. But you need the minerals in your water. Spring water. Don't you use no reverse osmosis water and drink that every day and strip minerals from your body. Don't you use no distilled water. You need spring water. So, I'm taking the cap off of the water. You're going to do this to every water that you have. 
in your case before your children, your partner, whoever open it. Every <laughs> when I do it, all the waters be open in the, in the refrigerator. They, they like, oh, we know she didn't put something in the water. They just know because I just put stuff in, in stuff, and people just trust me up in here because they know I'm putting life up in here. So we're gonna get a pinch of our gray salt. A pinch. You see me putting a pinch up in here? I'd say well, that's about about 15 little granules of it, like right? That's the pinch. Whatever that measurement is. You know, I don't I don't know that measurement. But this here is like a 16, yeah, 16.9 ounce. The regular bottles. Right? So then we're gonna do the same thing. We're putting a pinch, a pinch of baking soda in the water. So now what we got? We got alkalized water, alkalized spring water with sodium bicarbonate and minerals, 80 plus minerals and electrolytes in our water is in here. A pinch. Oh, y'all laughing at me the way I talk, but that's okay. A pinch. You know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? A pinch. Don't you put that on too much. It's called um, Celtic or Celtic, yeah, sea salt, yeah. I buy my spring water in gallons. How much should I use for the whole gallon? Well, a gallon gonna be about 40, so you're gonna need about four pinches. And, and I said 15 little granules of the salt, so 15 times the four. And there you go, just times the four. So now we got smooth water, alkalized water, sodium bicarbonate, What's, what this water gonna do for me? Well, increase the alkalinity, right? It's an antifungal because I have sodium bicarbonate. It's helping with the walls of my stomach because my stomach has a buffer around it that is made of sodium bicarbonate, preventing me from getting ulcers. I have 80 plus minerals because I put gray salty sea salt in it. I have, um, sound like from I am from Louisiana, Donna. I have 80 plus minerals up in here since I put my gray salt up in here. So I got electrolytes since I am electric beans. I a bean. I need electrolytes for my electric body. I have that. I have magnesium up in here. I got everything that I need in here. Trace elements of it because of my salt that has color or hue. If you're eating and using white salt on anything, I don't even know what you're doing with your life because white salt has been stripped of all of its minerals, leaving only two things, two minerals. Sodium and um, the chloride. That's it. This one here have 80 plus. So you want the colored one. Why? Because the color represent it ain't been stripped. Colored represent is more dominant and it has more of a light force. Okay? Leave the recessive white stripped salt alone. Get pink salt or gray salt and put it in your water. Pink or gray. And then, of course, you're going to add your sodium bicarbonate itself, increase the alkalinity. That's going to help you with that ulcer. That's going to help you with the um, lining of your gut. That's going to help you alkalize your body. That's going to be easier on your kidneys. When your kidneys is trying to filter all of them acids out, it's going to be easy on your liver while it's trying to detox that liver out. It's going to be easy on your large and small intestines because it's going to leave an alkaline ash in your large and small intestines. And we know one thing to be true. Sickness and disease cannot live in an alkalized body. Right? So you're going to alkalize this here port and all of them critters going to come out because you're drinking finally proper water and you didn't spend all of your money with them other ripoff water companies that got an LLC that's just been taking your money and still ain't doing the right thing with your, with your water. You doing the right thing at your house with your water. Do that to the whole case. Put the case in the refrigerator. Now the whole family got alkalized good water for minerals and everybody living good. Okay? I'm gonna give you that one for free. For free. Go to my website. I'm about to go. Go to my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. Download your meal plan. Eat right for your blood type. Okay? How much baking soda? Okay, I did that already. She's not lying. I like this. I do this. Thank you, Jack. I like when people testify. She's not lying. I do this. And it hydrated my cells and fixed my cellulite. I'm a Louisiana woman too. Oh, okay. No, I've been here. Okay. This video was from my heart to yours. Oh, you missed the 57. 
in a, about three hours, maybe TikTok will let me upload it and I'll put it on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is in the link in my bio. My website is in the link to my bio. I'm about to go. I'm about to go watch my hummingbirds. I don't, I'm about to go.